Seriously. Oh. <laughs> Trashy Cash Podcast, episode 130 yeah. something or other. How's it We're going? We're here, I'm man. We're Dave, here. The ADHD I don't guy. use hair. Look at that, Look at that hair. With Look me at as that, always, dude. hair Perks beautifully plus. dyed, Commonwealth Picker. <sighs> beautifully. Nice and easy is his brand because it's the cheapest, like $2 <laughs> a box. <laughs> Carry hey, American dude. Arbitrage. He uses that like horse shampoo stuff. Jealous. It, like, and Jealous. crazy yeah, allegations to cover. Uh, apparently, everyone's yeah. alleging that Kevin, during our weight loss, challenge of 2023 was on ozempic i don't know what his response <laughs> yeah, is to that exactly i don't know what ozempic basically. he's got the tracks all up and down his buttocks <laughs> yeah yeah kevin's uh kevin had a butt like laney wilson and now he has a butt like laney wilson <laughs> <laughs> it's true. That's, that's I, don't right? I don't know right someone's looks. getting my references tonight my Man. reference game is on point i, I would have yeah i get it <laughs> kevin <laughs> uh carrie i think you said something pretty solid about kevin's shirt Oh yeah, no. I, I, it's nice to see a grown man dressed up as a, a VHS cassette hmm. tape today. Yeah, my wife I'm dealing with two man this. children because you have a Captain America. She says I look on. like a candy corn. So that she doesn't look kind of look. Hey dudes, and his, you know, <laughs> gripped jeans. Dude, he is just giving up at this point. Just completely giving up, and I respect <laughs> well, it. Dude, my I let people like... know that I'm a pro picker. Me, me and Dustin, we're Literally. pro pickers. Dude, you were <laughs> okay. <sighs> Terry sent me his motivational speeches. Are they like, good or not? You don't bit, like them. Was that a bit how wet you were when you first yes, had Yes, I <laughs> added water. Oh, my gosh. Like, he was just... But I usually am pretty wet, yeah. Are pretty those going to be on the I end don't... of this video, Dave? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you guys have got... Don't, I don't really. Ahead, I'm not a big, like, but... towel guy. I just kind of put clothes on and they dry. The yeah. problem is... Well, Carrie I don't got anywhere like, to go. Carrie, Carrie went hard as it... Like, remember that movie, Get yeah. Hard? With yeah. the Dewey Cox story, I Carrie, did that like went hard on J Ride, and it was great. And then he wimped out. And said yeah, because Don dude. said it was too mean. I'm yeah, putting you both really... at the end. Okay, put then Carrie's he went real... hard. first one. I'm going to title Carrie's real thoughts. <laughs> Carrie's censored <laughs> thoughts will be uh, option That's what Don said. Don said that's too real. You can't be that mean. <laughs> hey, imitation is the most sincere form of flattery, Carrie. That's right, and it's not imitation. Right. There, Carrie doesn't. There work goes anymore. my relationship with Jake. <laughs> that's why. So many YouTubers do their videos like this now. No, you got to go higher. You got to go higher. 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 We got to see the. We got to see your butt crack. There you go. <laughs> yeah, like behind you, you got that butt crack hanging out. Look at the That is the key to a good video. It's the angle mm. of the dangle, so to speak. Ah, uh, so <laughs> podcast time. This is yeah. this is not going to work for me, guys. This div dip meeting before the podcast. <laughs> you I don't know. So... Like, I struggle. <laughs> It felt like my day you job were, again, and I have a really hard time. We had a half hour meeting. You left <laughs> Dang, three separate I, times. I did all the talk. All you got to do, just I get know, a drink dude, and listen. edit a video. And don't uh, say anything, because when I, you yeah, talk, nice, it's not man. helpful. Yeah, How is it not nice? Aggressive. I just said we're rebranding it to Tiquity. How is that not nice? <laughs> Tiquity, it is the new, it's the new dip. <laughs> if, if it's mean to anyone, it's to Kevin, who wanted to call it Tiquity. <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> district never wanted to call it Tiquity. Uh, no, well, listen, we do it's have it's better than Junction. Job. It's something about my old day job that, like, when you make me sit in a meeting mm. like that, I my brain starts to just, like, fog over. I get it. And I, I, I just it. can't do it. And so now I'm feeling, like, very, like, uh... Welcome I got to the you. podcast. It doesn't get you hyped up. <laughs> Welcome Corporate to the locker speak. room. Here right, we well, are again. Welcome to the Trash to Cash do Locker do Room do Podcast. Do 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 I was a DJ. Oh, that reminds yeah, me. Meet me by DJ, the right? dumpster and maybe we'll break the law. <laughs> Yeah, that's that? happening by the dumpster bin. Ben, Shane, I, ask Ben, yeah. what's what's that? What was that reference he made in his Both references I'm thinking of. Dumpster, and he'll calm you down. I don't both know. Things me and yeah. me and Dave would both be uncomfortable with. Kevin Kevin's like shocked. Down. Kevin didn't Kevin listen to the latest locker room, but he said during their event, if you meet him at the dumpster, he'll calm you down. I don't uh, know what that means. What does that I mean? Did, Kevin I also is extending that offer for all future events. Yeah, go extends. to the dumpster, meet Kevin. That's our new uh, sponsor, right? Extends. He will calm you down. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. All right. So. I haven't listened to. It. I've been listening to leftovers resell oh, leftovers really? resell leftover what are resellers they for this podcast. Bit? It was. It's better. It's getting slightly better. It's like okay. there's not as much right. downtime. There's yeah. more talking. It was. I mean, it got like completely off the rails a few times where they talk way too long about one topic. But it was still really Dude, listen. Really good. First of all. At the end of the day, the best reselling podcast is Reseller Information Network. Yeah, no, it okay. is. Yeah, if for sure. if they could somehow magically get better microphones, that would be <laughs> the one to listen to. Uh, hey, I'm speaking of, you, am I Sir scratching? 
Yeah, it's Chernock. Everybody Cernok. says Chernock. It's, Cernok. Cher- it's Chernock. I Where's the it H? Cernok. Where's the H? I think there is an it's, H in there, isn't it? it? No, there's not. Well, there is at the end. At but the it's end. a silent, it's no, if there's H. one H, it comes after, you put it in front of every consonant. Except after C or E, Except right? after E. No, oh, wait, there's another podcast that somebody was dumb enough to let Mike on. Did the you see island? that one? Oh, no, 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 no. The Island Boys one? No. That's no, not. it's oh, Mike, I, it's I, the I worst name ever, and you can't spell it. So I if they can... Oh, it's Flipper Finders or whatever with yeah, like 17 Zs. So I I'm tried not to look for it, out. and I was already subbed, and I had a hard time. <laughs> Unless, yeah, exactly. <laughs> so if they change their name, yeah. here's your challenge. We'll shout it out. If you don't change that name, no yeah. chance I'm shouting it out. It's not that, it, like, it's just nobody can find it. That's why. It's not because it's a terrible name. It's also a terrible name, but it's not because of that. Kevin, right. The people can't find yeah. it. Kevin, are yeah. you scared? Are you scared about the rise up oh. of Vendu and how it's taking yeah. over the world? I feel like I feel like I feel hey, like Carrie, Vindu strong. I have yeah. a question for you though, Carrie, because at the end of this video, you did a Vendu shout out. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but it, isn't there a code? Is there just a link? No, it's just a link from as far okay. as I know. I don't know. Yeah. And you have your link. I don't on know. These They'll videos? have to find it on something of mine. I'm You'll sure Dave's not going to put me. my Vindu link so on So just this. saying my link. 25. That would be nice if he did to help me get some numbers my first month. Well, Without the, having the a link. I will mask mine to make it look like yours. <laughs> 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 Carrie's link, and it's just my link. Yeah, I fully, Dude, I fully, I fully it, sold out, man. We've got a new member of the Vendu support network on the yeah. podcast. I got, I got like freaking out. two ad deals recently. Carrie's so getting that Skrilla, and he also actually tried Vendu and was like, holy crap this Dude, is i really actually good. really did like vindu i'm not gonna lie <laughs> dawn's listed like 20 things in one day and she never even listed one time on on, an, on anything else that's at moderately yeah okay so here's the thing guys that Kevin, oh boy here we this go this is the part this... that's really gonna bother you they're not paying uh, me for this but i just it's uh, important they now have whatnot cross listing. yes whatnot cross whatnot cross listing they were the first ones to do it, and I already go sold to something. one of my videos and click Here's on the link and join because I need Not only, this help. So, so I cross listed like a hundred items, right? Onto whatnot with Vendu, I sell something a day it later. Takes it off uh, what, a lot of uh, vinyl mation. It auto took it off eBay and Mercari, but literally just in my marketplace, my buy it now marketplace. And not only did I sell that, but then I got an offer today for a long a burger basket. Which who's who knew people were buying long a burger basket? And it's like on whatnot, on whatnot like on what whatnot, it's a right whatnot best offer. Yeah. I'm glad you're saying long a burger because I've bought some. I sold one the other day too, and I've got two more. I had, forever had trouble selling long a burger, and now it's gone. Why did you have trouble selling it? I don't know. I've just everything I've listed in the past just took forever, and then okay. I listed one the other day and it sold just like move that. Fast. That's why I was excited that literally on whatnot I got an offer on it. So I, yeah. the point is, forget about Vendu. If you don't like Vendu, that's fine. But I think the idea of like listing stuff as buy it now on whatnot is starting to work. Well, I love oh, the idea because you yeah. made one sale. Yeah, and an but offer also, both in. But here's two days. the real thing for for the whatnot that's exciting for me is like you put the item in the store. And say you have it on whatnot for three or four weeks. It's been on eBay for three or four weeks. I can just move it over to the auction because I'm sick of seeing it, right? And then when it sells via auction, it's going to be taken off. So well, that's huge for me because I, I will always say forget. This, is I've sold on Marketplace. I've probably sold whatnot Marketplace like 20 items, but 18 of them are merch items, right? Well, no, that's, so, that's what I'm saying, though. How right, much of your right. non-merch have you listed on there? Right. A very little, and I've made two sales. That's what I'm saying. I've list, I listed like 100 items and got two sales in three well, days. Well, very little of Kevin's sales That's really come crazy. from anybody outside of his followers anyway. So uh, it doesn't well, matter he, what he puts on, whatnot, it's going to oh, sell. Oh, so a whatnot people. sale is – do you think those were two non – what do you think? Oh, they were you, all to your fo- – every whatnot no, 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 sale no, I'm talking about Dave's sale. I didn't I'm recognize either sale. name. I okay, cool. Either. Well, well, here's you the thing. 13,000 no, no, followers. I myself have been on whatnot. Okay, wanting to buy lounge flies, but you go into the lounge fly auctions and they're all <laughs> freaking gambling. Literally, they're all just gambling games. Like, we bid on a chance to win a lounge fly for thirty dollars, and then you get like a freaking little vinylmation, right? That's that's mm-hmm. how the Disney auctions work. So I will go into whatnot, and I will type lounge fly and look in the marketplace because I want to buy something and try to find one. Generally, I don't. But if I ever were to find one that was like 35 bucks and I liked it, I would probably buy it on the yeah, way market. There are a lot of people out there like Dave. Are there, do you wear lounge flies ever? Because I'm no, not sure no, you could pull one off. No, no. I mean, my I get it on a shelf. But no, yeah. my, I put them on my shelf and then my daughters wear them when we go to theme parks and okay. they love them. So, no, listen. I and then you that, sell them as used? Yeah, usually, yeah. Okay. Or I'll leave the tag on them and sell them as new. <laughs> no, I'm not hey, since that. we're talking about whatnot marketplace here, 
Uh, how about just regular whatnot? April 19th, come on over. I'm giving away lots of stuff, y'all. Okay, but listen, here's the cool thing we about We were shilling show, our man. stuff, Kevin. <laughs> it's our turn to shill. No, <laughs> it's yeah. a great show. You've had, you you've had 130 is, episodes or something. Everyone is constantly this. complaining about not wanting to actually run a live auction yeah. be on camera. Like, whatnot could become a viable platform like a Mercari or a Posh, which I think is kind of cool. Or a Dibdit. Yeah. Dibdit.com, guys. Yeah, Check it out. Com, guys. Formerly Tickwitty. <laughs> junction it used to be junction <laughs> dude, dude, com, Dave, you froze for dude, a second well hey, wait, we're gonna have wait, we're gonna have what some... monthly auctions or weekly monthly auctions over there? monthly oh weekly we're gonna have weekly auctions with it. multiple folks there's Dibbit. a calendar if you want to sell if you're already a member over there and you want to sell learn the process and biggs collectibles is going to be the one scheduling them and dave and carrie gave me both firm commitments tonight in our meeting that Listen, they would be selling once a month. I'm be selling twice me, a month over I, there. I'll do three times a month. Just <laughs> tell me when I'm doing it. And That's what sure I did. remind I me said thirty it. times. That's I what I tell Don Dar- all the time. Biggs. I'm like, Don, just tell me when I'm doing it. <laughs> That's, That's really all Listen, it is to me. Y'all, I'm the same way. That's what's funny. It's I like I literally I tell specific people to and Turner is always the the, yeah. the scapegoat on this. I'm like, you have to tell me this at this time, said an alarm yeah. and then I got my alarms, I got crap going. I need people to remind me too. Of it's a lot of story. stuff going on. My my problem is that there's so many things I can focus my time on, and when I do pick one, I can't get out of it. Like I focus in on list. I've been listing nonstop for like two weeks now, yeah. and it's hard for me to break out of that and say, "Oh, I got to edit a video because I literally have no uh, videos." Or but something. but like, you did have. I remember talking, having this conversation with you like a month ago, where it was like I edited for nine hours. Oh yeah, or whatever yeah. Like a couple months ago, I edited for like a week straight, and that's why I've been fine. But like. I think I have two picker videos left, and then I'm all out again. Okay, wow. And you got tons of footage. Well, I see, we're burying like the lead here, which is footage. flea across Florida. So you guys Dude, successfully... How can you... Listen, I want to file a formal complaint against yes, my cohorts yes. at the I will flea across it. Florida. Both uh-huh. of them had amazing stories happen, and they don't want me to tell them well, I'll on tell the them. podcast. Oh, the oh, we're doing drink- this? Oh, the drinking of their own... Species, now we're not going to say feces. names of who did no, what. No, we won't say who did what. But let's say this: I went right. to the flea you across Florida. Urine, you tell me this? I went the to the flea across Florida incident. with Rod and Mike. But this is not necessarily about them. But Rod picking and punching, Mike death pile picker. They're both with me. It's not necessarily about them. But two of the people that were with me had peeing incidents. All right, <laughs> I'm not going to say if it was them or not. But two of the people that were with me had Dave level peeing incidents, and it's so funny because people say, "Dave, I can't believe you you did that." But then it's so normal. This crap I do, like the pants peeing flea market incident where I yeah. poured pee all over myself, that happened to one of these people yeah. today or yesterday. Literally, well, one of the people I was with, like, uh, he had to pee really in- bad. And You're so an inside me, the body good. You're an outside the body bad. Listen, well, so for me, like, if I'm going to pee in a cup in my car, <laughs> I'm going to do it in the car with the door shut. And, you know, potentially in the shade of a tree or something yeah. like that. With and the then throw it playing. away. Right. And then As drink it. No, I mean, throw it away. Yeah, yeah. It. But but this person decided that they needed to get out of the car to do it. Right. So they open their door and they hide behind the door and they're trying to pee like at the clubhouse of the community center. Right. There's like yard sales, like invisible sight. And they're peeing into a cup. And then like someone starts rolling up and they're like, oh, crap, what do I do? And end up spilling the pee all over themselves. (laughs) And then trying to avoid the pee all over themselves and still hanging out is peeing all over the car and stuff and has their GoPro on recording the whole thing while they're doing this. This is one of the people I'm with. I'm not going to say whether or not it was me. Oh, or I know who it two. is. I know exactly. And then, you and then me. Carrie, know that's not it though. The, another person that was with me, maybe me, maybe not them, maybe not Rod or Mike, but you know, I was with two people and this happened to two different people and it may or may not have been me. I'm not going to say names. The other person, you know, says that someone, maybe a short guy, five, five in height and handsome was at a yard sale too long and they had to pee and they peed in a cup <laughs> and this person that may or may not love smoking cigarettes was you know he peed in this cup and then yeah. later on in the day we go to an estate sale and we're shopping at the estate sale and it, it was a very infuriating estate sale which we'll cover in a minute and we get out and it's like hot and it's sweaty and it's disgusting it's from like yeah. the 1920s you and need I a might cold have, glass of i might have i might have inhaled someone's ashes because i opened an urn by accident <laughs> but anyways they they need a nice <laughs> cold That's drink dark. they need a nice cold drink and they're driving down the road on the phone with me and they take Take a sip and well, not on the phone with me because it could have been me. You never know. Anyway, either way, they drink their own urine, maybe. And I am not going to say I'm the only one who didn't have a pee incident, but I might have been the only one at Flea Across Florida that had no pee incident. Sometimes this is a Florida thing. This is a Florida (laughs) thing because I've had to pee a lot when I'm in Florida because we're driving and so many yards. So sometimes this happens. So and there's a lot of ashes floating around in Florida. There's urns (laughs) everywhere. 
Just Cherry, dead people. You know how many phone calls I got Saturday while I was out crappy yard sale? I got here? none. Thanks, guys. No, I got we tons. wanted to make that Kevin feel bad because he yeah, should have come. I got and tons we of phone calls just saying, hey, I'm just happy to be here. How are you doing today? That's what I got all day. <laughs> I'm just all happy day. to be Let's here. make Kevin have FOMO. <laughs> did you get FOMO? Yeah. I did, but I don't Excellent. regret it. Good. I don't regret it. Just be, Not because of my Saturday, although the Saturday drunk. ended up good at the very, people. very end. I had a, you have a book, you ever have a book in day where the first sale you go to is good and the very last sale you go to is good and everything yeah. else was in between is brutal, brutal. I have a lot but of, it's fun. I have a lot of the first yard sale sucks, uh, the last yard sale sucks and <laughs> all of the yard sales in between also suck. I, I get a <laughs> but lot that's of just that because you get into in this, Vegas. there's such Emo. a huge part, Emo. there's such a huge part of picking this Emo. mentality. Uh, right? Dave, it's all mentality. I Dude, I'm not just that. buying to buy like you guys. I'm not just buying random garbage. Listen, it's good true. Stuff. Carrie, I'm sitting in there and I had like three straight yard sales where I bought like something, but it was like out of pity or something, you know? And then I'm like, I'm all right, I'm getting out of this mode. I'm going up to this yard sale. There could be nothing here, but I'm going to talk to these people and it's going to be fun. And I cleaned house at that yard sale. Yeah. I think it's mindset, Carrie. I think I've been with you, and like you get in this mental state where you're like you're broken, you're not picking, you're depressed, you're stressed out. I do get out, that way. You're dead inside. There's a couple inside. times a week where I'm just broken. Honestly, yeah. like there's a whole like portion of yard sailing with Carrie that's literally just Carrie mood management, right? It's like, ooh, I found too much good stuff. Let me let me push this in front of him so he sees it. Dang, he's still not seeing it, Carrie. That sort of thing you might like. <laughs> uh, just look at it for a second oh yeah you but like this. there's the other side of it because <laughs> you might have the lows but you have the highs and oh, i yeah. saw the twinkle in carrie's eye and the brilliance when i watched these promos at the end of the video you guys gotta stick around they're really well, they're carry magic tote full of adult toys he was like just yeah, like, i was like ones. oh i need more started to <laughs> test um, them all go out with my right other tote. The sale. <laughs> No, but, uh, okay, so... Are there uh, corrosion in this battery The lead compartment? of the flea across Florida was not whether or not I made up those stories about peeing, which I may oh, or may not Oh, you made them have. up? Maybe. I've got to <laughs> put that in there since I was told not to tell the story. So now there's questions. Uh, and now we have a fake. title. Maybe the they were in drinking so, incident. No, Mike peed on himself. I gathered two no, times. That's two separate times. Uh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Let's blame Mike Maybe. for both Maybe. Allegedly. Like that. Allegedly. Allegedly. <laughs> Anyways. Did you see my wife told... Florida was fun. Look. Since you exposed that, and Dave has exposed his own incidents oh, before, yeah. similar. We can talk but about how much did you? My pants as a kid. I've seen I, I think my wife, when she appeared somewhere, exposed my the or her dip drinking incident. Did she oh, ever yes. expose yeah, that? She did. Yeah, yeah. On the locker, room, I used she was to talking about how she drank dip. your dip. Yeah, that's the, well, she drank it's not your my dip fault. From well, yeah, it's her fault. Yeah. It's just it's her Get fault that she dip. left her Stanley next to you and you. Spit no. <laughs> I don't. Dip, you can Zen fit a now, lot of dip, dip into a Stanley yeah. carry. He's that's a Zen bro now. Zen bro. Do you not spit when you do Zen? No. He right. swallows it. What do you think? I oh my gosh! I don't know how it works, Kevin. I'm not a drug. <laughs> we, do you we don't do drugs, Kevin. I don't know how drugs. Do you take it with a needle? I don't know what needle? Ben's gonna do it with the dumpster. I don't know. <laughs> well, you know, a lot of people who smoke, you know, gave up something far worse, you know. So maybe you should be a little gentle. With Where did you start? What was your height? Like, were you on yeah, crack cocaine or something? For you, was crack. it cocaine? <laughs> Was it no. freebasing on a spoon? And That's a lot of people. Free We're basing. on a crack pipe. <laughs> I don't even know what freebasing really is. <laughs> I don't I've know. seen it in movies. I don't know. Now we got to put the adult tag on the episode. Okay, so I'll have the highlights if you Just, care about the I'll do a voiceover Florida. for that part. Highlights Better than across Florida. Right? Highlight one was my chairs. I got these translucent folding chairs yes. that are like, uh, I don't know, they're like acrylic or. And I, you just, did tell me about that. I forgot. I got three reports about these stinking acrylic chairs before, before I good. even talked Bef to you. <laughs> Seriously. Mike and Rod were so excited about them. Yeah, oh no. Gosh. So they were really cool. I, I just didn't expect them to be worth much, but I liked them. And then it turns out they're worth like 100 bucks a piece. So yeah. there was that high. Dave is channeling his inner Don. He's all MCM'd out now. But You're MCM you know bro. they'll never get listed because Dave does. Doesn't want to ship three, four How would chairs. I ship them? Yeah, that's a great question. In a big box. I love yeah. that question. How do you ship golf clubs? Find a, a big box. box. Well, find a box. True. Okay. I mean, uh, maybe. Ben how do you one. ship them? How do you ship anything in a box? Okay. <laughs> or a bag? They don't have some by the dumpster. Just ask. We should rename <laughs> Kevin Cleverin. 
because he's so clever with his little Eleven. box joke. Yeah. Eleven. Let's Clever-ing. move past that. that. wasn't a good one. Let's move past. Oh okay, y'all, let's move I past got. That. Did you see? I got some. I, I posted on Instagram. I did a video about oh, job, the buddy. secrets of <laughs> thanks, Carrie. By the way, you didn't give me credit at the end of the video. Like J Ride posts more videos than anybody I know. I'm like, oh, well, thanks, wait, wait, Carrie. You, you, you appreciate it, Carrie. You're not doing much TikTok <laughs> thanks, though. Carrie. Somebody else makes them for you. I do like, do TikTok. Me. I do like five so, uh, a week. Dude, uh, yeah, Jeez. but they're, they they yeah, just suck. They're right <laughs> repurposed garbage that someone else is making. No, I, no, two of them no I do. Credit for that. You are making your TikToks. Yes, you're telling from yes. scratch with no yes. other three of them. No, we no, can tell. <laughs> we can tell. <laughs> he is not making them. <laughs> but I am. I'm taking what was not, whatever. Get Fine. out of here, dude. Nobody's He's making more someone. content than yeah. our sweet Kevin, and I'm sorry. No one is making more it, content than <clears throat> Kevin's army of creators. Kevin's legion of people. Oh. Me and Jay Ryder yeah, riding solo like Jason Derulo over here, okay? You have an mm. army of people all over I, the world making stuff. Said no. Okay, so no. I'll tell you guys, for people who want to know about Fleet Across <sighs> Florida or are interested in highway sales, it was a decent sale. It was very similar to, like, Peaches to Beaches and stuff like that. There was, like, 20-mile stretches, stretches with nothing, though, right? Like, we started in mm. Lake City and Live Oak, and they were fine. You know, it was very uh, formulaic, 100-mile yard sale, tent cities. Uh, very few actual like yard sales. I heard uh, there was few. very few tent cities. There was, there was few, but they were solid, you know. And we spent a long time at them. There wasn't a lot, so I probably hit. What five is flea across Florida? Days. It's yeah, not garage well, sale across Florida. Is yeah. that, are you like going with the red hot chili peppers? What exactly is this? <laughs> yeah, flea is there. He's got the little sock on his dingle, um, yeah, a which dingle was a thing socks. he used to do, didn't he? he used to do. Yeah, that. no, he still does it. But no, hey, the first Carrie, day was, was okay with the fines. Music. The second day, we mostly hit community sales. That's Okay, that's all right. That's what, what I th- That's yeah. what I got. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah day two was all community sales. But those like community sales, community do you oh think, like, they, those things are, like, associated with that sale? Yeah, they did or it because not? of it. Yeah, okay, they do so, it every year, Mike. All right. Said. Well, then you got to count Dude, that. Carrie, they, I don't think I told you. I told Kevin this because Mike kept calling Kevin and spoiling podcasts. I had to yell at Mike. I said, Dude, this is for the podcast. Stop calling Kevin. But anyways... What is Kevin trying to, to type something in the computer? What's he doing? He's, <laughs> he's like hitting stuff. Speaking of fleas, it looks like a you gotta like watch out for WWW. Get that Lyme disease, termite or something, or yeah. big ant or something. Anyway, hey, my that's what I used to call my aunt, big ant. Anyway, <laughs> Carrie, I go to this yard sale. This lady has like a pile of coach bags and Kate Spade bags on the ground. Oh, I have to hear and this. I go again. up to the well, Mike shouldn't have spoiled it, but I go up to the Kate Spade bags and the coach bags. I'm like, oh, these are nice. Where'd you get them? She's like, oh, at the store. I'm like, at the coach store. She's like, oh yeah, yeah. I always go to the store and get them. And, and I was like, okay, well, how much are they? It's probably like eight bags. She's like, oh, you like them? You can just have them. Just, <laughs> I was like, really? She's like, yeah, just take them. You can have them. I don't need them. We're moving. I'm like, okay. And then, and then Mike finds all these inflatables, right? All these inflatable like uh, mm, dolls Jack, and stuff. Jack, no, Jack uh, Skellington and Zero. All the Nightmare Before Christmas Halloween decorations for your front yard. Oh, nice. He goes, how much? There's probably like seven of them, right? You know, these are like a hundred bucks a piece. And Mike's like, how much for these? She's like, oh, if you like them, just take them. And he's like, ma'am. You know, because he's like all weirdly yeah. polite sometimes. Yeah. He's like, "Ma'am, ma'am, I can't, I can't take them. I'm gonna sell them on eBay." She's like, "Oh, yeah. great! You're gonna find them in your yeah. home. That's amazing! Take them I love that. Wow. Let me find you some more in the garage." See, I was like, "What the heck?" <laughs> that's <laughs> like weird. Mike's weird moral compass, right there. Well, that's the what I'm weird talking thing about. Is someone who loves resellers that much? Yeah, I've never yeah. seen such a thing. Like it was so Pretty sure she's, Oh, she might sure, just be yeah. like a klepto, and she's trying to get rid of evidence. And now you have it. Dude, in one of those coach bags, I pulled out a receipt from Louis Vuitton for a $1,700 bag. I know that's cheap for Louis Vuitton, but it's mind-boggling to me. It would be that rich for that I could purse. just give away stuff at a yard sale to yeah, just those creepy dudes probably, with cameras. She probably cameras. paid 300 bucks a piece for those coach bags. And she's like, yeah, just take them. Just, I don't Dude. need them. Just take them. Like, it was crazy. That was the kind of neighborhood it was, though. Like, I went to one guy's house, Carrie. He had, like, 10 sets of irons for sale. Like, full set sets of golf clubs like who has that many sets of golf clubs like it doesn't even make sense <laughs> it's like why do you own this many yeah uh, and when we're driving down the road mike's like that... hey look at that bag on the side of the road it's a bag full of good clubs and it's just curb alert free in the same neighborhood <laughs> like crazy money Dang. so you gotta go to gotta rich Florida, neighborhoods bro. see that's just you don't see that stuff out here it's but like... then i like an idiot try to you know every time someone comes here i try to learn something new i, I don't really learn anything when kevin comes here but dawn comes i learn mcm Jen comes, I try to learn jewelry. I teach so you I'm about cards, you don't along. listen. Dude, I have yes, videos sir. about jewelry. I've been trying to... T- mm. 
Okay, right. so well, mainly mainly <laughs> the Dependence. people who are good at jewelry, Kath and yeah. her slipper, yeah. and that's it, I think. But so I followed Jen and I tried to learn a little bit. And so I'm at this community sale, and this lady who was hilarious, she's gonna be great in the video, is like, You gotta buy some of this jewelry. And I'm like, Yeah, I do. I need to buy some jewelry. And I I don't know, man. I paid Have a lot you of sold money lots for of costume ju jewelry? It was costume jewelry. Have do you, you sold lots on on whatnot? Of jewelry, yeah, I've done I okay. Kill it on. I've done okay. On yeah, jewelry. Lots. It depends on how good the lot is. Like these jewelry people, mm -hmm. they know if it's good or not. Like they can look at it. And well, they know. but they also know, especially good good people who sell a lot of jewelry know both. They know the costume and they know the yeah. gold and the and the sterling. Yeah. So and the gems, even I don't know gems. Do you have notes for the podcast, Kevin? Is that what that is? I I never got a chance to write them because we were in that meeting. I was trying to so. Okay. Well, anyways, I ended up paying like nine dollars, eight or nine dollars a piece for costume jewelry, which is probably too much. Yeah, probably. But we'll see. For Let's each piece? Yes. Oh yeah, that's really I bad. Know. But you got a bunch of free bags, so you're probably gonna be. Well, able. okay, but and I'm not sure if I comped these things right, but I think I am. The, the stuff. And it I depends on the costume on eBay, jewelry. The stuff I comped and put on eBay Did today, which was awful. Am I breaking up? I'm breaking up, aren't I? Carrie, am I breaking up or is Kevin? I can hear. I can hear you. I think Kevin's. Kevin's like, froze. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so Carrie, the stuff I put on eBay today, just what I put was mm. four fifty, four hundred fifty bucks, yeah. and I spent two ninety. So go. it's not a great profit, but I have a whole bag that I'm going to put on eBay on whatnot because I can't figure well, there you out. Go. You should double. Well, I you should, should. You'll make profit, and you're trying something new. Honestly, if you yeah, are buying some something. If you were buying, there's value in that though, because the next yeah. time you go, you're going to know two or three things that sold really quickly that you didn't know about before. Yep. And, and if I you knew, can make a profit like, and learn, you're doing good, in my opinion. So to me, one thing that was interesting that I learned, right, is I got Ann Klein jewelry. That's better. Leave it. Jewelry. Ann Klein costume jewelry, carry and Chico's costume Chico's jewelry. Chico's is good. Yeah, Chico's. Chico's is a better one. I would have thought Ann Klein was the better Heidi one. Heidi Dawes, Chico's... if you if you know costume yeah. jewelry, Heidi Dawes is good. Okay, I know a little I bit about that. jewelry, believe it or not. Remember when I got so mad that one time because I missed those Remingtons that were right in front of my yes, face? Yes, I remember that. That I just went, like, I'm going to just look through this table of yep. jewelry. Yeah. And I, sometimes I get motivated, not often, yeah. but sometimes. But I think, like you said, I'm going to make my money back on eBay. I'm going to make the profit on whatnot. And then I learned something, right? I learned to look out for Chico's because, like, pretty much every Chico's, Chico's thing I good. found was 20 bucks plus. 20 right? up, yeah. Yeah, 20 and up for the Chico's. And Ann Klein it seems to be terrible. And I thought that was a really fancy name. So Chico is like the stuff. Chico's is like the stuff like my mom would wear. Yeah, maybe even even younger, but like my it's mom very likes loud. That kind of it's stuff. like very statement loud uh, jewelry yeah. talk, guys. That's what you're here for. Yeah, that's, that's it. Hey, that's for. a good that's a good thing to think because I bought a ring the other day from a lady that had tons of rings in it. Yeah, you just buy the loud, and sometimes you're going to be fine. Just mm -hmm. even it doesn't matter the brand this or stuff no really brand loud. or whatever. It was all really loud. Yeah, if it I, just has a cool look to it. Yeah. yeah. So we'll see. We'll see how I do. I wanted to talk about John Kane Hoover. You ever heard, heard of him? Uh, yes. Hey, yes. Commenter, yes. Right? yes. No, yeah, he He's comments all the time. He posted over on the Facebook.com, on the Trash oh, yeah. to Cash group, which is something I'm always in. I just <laughs> love that group. I, it adds a bunch of value to our brand. I go weeks brand. at a time. It's I forget It's not it a cesspool of hate. It's uh, not. It's totally. No, that's what I'm saying. It's not, Kevin. I said it's not a cesspool yeah, of hate. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so here we go. I was just listening to the podcast while sourcing. Dave is convinced that Mercari sales aren't going to be affected. My sales have plummeted since the change, and I used to do really well on Mercari. I just looked up this $80 item, which is now $102 <clears throat> with buyer's fees. How is this not going to affect buyers? So I just wanted to state really quickly, John Kane Hoover, that the tax and delivery would still be there even if they made no change. So it's not taking your $80 item and making it $102. It is taking your $93 item and making yeah. it $102. Exactly. That's that's one of my main Details points. So yes, matter. Details, details matter. matter. And, and since you no longer have fees, you now have the ability to drop your price a little bit. To bring that price down, if you're concerned about the buyer, drop your price. Drop it nine drop bucks. It nine, drop it nine percent. Then you're still earning a little bit more, and the yeah. customer's paying the same amount. Uh, I dropped all mine ten percent. Literally everything I dropped ten percent, and so it really it didn't make a difference for me. Uh, but you know, you can kind of do it. Or you the want. buyer. Or the, it made a difference for nobody. It literally made no difference. So then it doesn't change your life at all. Wait Just a minute, do that. Ten percent. No, it did make. It's more expensive for the buyer. By what? Oh, because of the if service fee? Let's see, nine. So I'm if you dropped a hundred dollar item. Yeah. 10%. Yeah. If you drop yeah, it would be more expensive for the buyer. And it's the by same like a for dollar. you. By like a dollar. No. So you drop the if price ten percent? 
Okay. From well, 80 down oh, yeah, to yeah. 72. Oh, yeah, yeah. Actually, it's exactly even. Yeah, it's I exactly it even. Exactly the only even. thing I'm unsure about is the, the payment processing fee. I don't know who used to pay that. Did we pay that or did they pay? I think, I don't we know. paid it. We, we paid, paid it. it. Now yeah. they pay it. So, so I, guess that's I actually have a video. Matter of fact, it, yeah, it'll be coming out maybe Thursday, I think, or Saturday. I did a Mercari video. Okay. Um, it's a little bit of a different take because everybody's done the Mercari videos, so it really had to do more with with the actual seller. I, I don't. I don't want to give it away, but it's well, pretty good. But I ripped think, on you in it. That was the funniest part. Are the sales? Are your Mercari sales up, down, or the same? Mine are the same. Mine are I did the ten percent drop, and I got the same sales. Did you change the pricing or anything? No. So are you paying the fees now? You're you're paying the fees, and the buyers paying the fees because you didn't adjust no. your listings, or you no, adjusted it's adjusted. Your it's adjusted. So you, you can. Here's them? a little help, and I learned this from. Is it gorgeous? Gorgeous. Yeah. Gorgeous. Is that right? The person that Paul always has on TikTok. I learned. There's a rat in the food. So here's a little hint for you, um, Mercari folks. If you put your store on vacation and then bring it back off vacation, it counts as an adjustment. Oh really? Yeah. That's what I learned. I don't know if it's true, but it seems to be working for me. What I do is, and then you'll know. Is I'll click on, I'll click on, I'll click on a listing on eBay that hasn't sold in a while, and I'll say something nice about it. I'll say, well, know, Dave, picture, I'm not paying. The picture the was really nice, and sometimes okay. that'll help itself. I'm not paying the fees, but that I that could be because of the stuff I listed after the fact. So I, I'm not 100 percent sure, you but I'm check. like 95 percent sure. Update us next week. Update us next week, and let us. We're not. Yeah. I'm sure. We're we don't. Remember. Remember. And I just sold some on Ricardo just a little while I'm ago. Shout out, list perfectly good comment. I'm just glad, I'm just you're, glad you're, you're, you're out and about. You're doing stuff at your age. I'm just happy for you. Well, I gotta get you know keep up with my pill case and make sure I take my pills. Yeah, 31 days. Did you, you call Kevin a necromancer too. in the? <laughs> yes, he did. Answer. What the heck? <laughs> hey, hey, at least I'm staying away from the dogs. <laughs> mm. Anyways, I'm, I'm bumping him up to a necromancer. It was is, weird I being at a highway sale without you two. I'll say that. No, it was a little weird. Well, not, not bad. I didn't say bad. I said it was. Weird. Oh well, then forget you. Maybe better, but did Rod pay too much for stuff? <sighs> Rod, hmm, I don't know. Rod kind of really like. I think we annoyed him a couple times because, like, mm. he'd come with us for a little bit and then he'd bail on us. Really, like, yeah. I Mike rode with me, so I might have to get my lungs checked. You know, he doesn't like it when we <laughs> talk about the fact that he smokes. But he so you smoke let him smoke in the in the truck? Yeah, in my car. In car. Yeah, as long oh, as he wow. opened the window. As long as he opened the window. Okay. That was, yeah. So, but he was he was fine to pick with. He was it was fun. Um, but Rod just kept abandoning us, and I don't know why. Uh, he did definitely get triggered when he didn't go to the free yard sale until we had already mm. grabbed all the free stuff. That definitely <laughs> broke Rod's brain a little bit. Sorry, bud. But he didn't the key. get to. Rod, here's the key. I just don't care about anything. Like, just go and have fun. Just be wavy gravy with the people, man. Actually, that's just pretty true. Happen. Yeah, no. With if you go... Sales, yeah. With just high fun, expectations man. comes, you know, great disappointment. Yeah, I, I learned that quick. I tried to grab something Kevin wanted the first time I ever went to yard sale with him. Dude, I've never seen. Just, you know, like when you see those <laughs> Whatever, of old, dude. old boomer people just yelling at you at like a, like at a Burger King. It was kind of like that level. <laughs> mm, yeah. Like he didn't get enough ketchup packets mm. and he was upset. So, listen, there's, there's allegations that some podcasts yeah. do this whole sale of the week. And yeah, their sale mm -hmm. of the weeks, people have been saying, are pretty unimpressive, mm -hmm. right? Like eighteen dollars, twelve dollars. That's the sale. No, that's the sale of the on. week. And and then they also there's some some podcasts. I'm not going to name names. Do find of the week, and the find of the week's like an eighteen or sixteen dollar like item. Eighteen eighteen dollars yeah. is the high. Sometimes though, the Some find weeks, of the week is something cool that you you like. Is that I can kind of get that. No, okay. though. Oftentimes okay. not. <laughs> well, Dave doesn't sell anything for fifteen. I don't sell anything for fifteen dollars or more. That's below. been established many times. Oh, please, that that's nonsense. People think I'm, I'm bad, so but I'm making all this Skrillex. Skrillex, but no, listen. <laughs> my, I would say my favorite find of the week, and not profitability, but like you said, something cool is those chairs. I could even show Dude, you. Those, those are chairs. cool. Those I'm are really excited cool about chairs. those chairs. Yeah, and I didn't I'll, even I'll get them. What was your find of the week, Kev? Don would like that it. Yard sale? Yeah, Don oh, my sale. gosh. So this is why I don't regret not going to flee across Florida because that uh, that was Saturday. And I was I was missing. I was FOMOing there for sure. But it was the Friday sale before. The Friday sale was amazing. So I don't regret. Look at Dave. Is this the chair? It's my chair, yeah. Nice, Sweet. dude. Look how cool that is. Just a clear chair. chair. Clear you know there's a church somewhere it's who a has Cholo. like... Is that a thing? 
Is that a like, bad word in, in yeah. uh, Spanish, <laughs> Carrie? Say, Cholo? No, Somebody call like it. Some no, Chair Bolo. Chair Bolo is what I meant. Cholo. I think Cholo. It's just like a, yeah. I don't think so. <laughs> Let me know if I need to listen, edit that word out. I don't know what it listen, means. Listen, no, no. Um, so I got on Friday, I went to one sale. This is the truth. I've, I've been preaching this for three weeks now. I've, I never really went to Friday sales when I was teaching because I was teaching. But I finally got into the Friday groove. I've gone to the last three weekends, one Friday sale, three Friday sales, one Friday sale. Over that time period, I've gone to probably 50 Saturday sales. I've done better on those five sales than I did in all the other 50 combined. Yeah. Without a doubt, like not even close. Probably three or $4,000 better. I got $3,000 worth of stuff at a sale on Friday in Roanoke. And I think I spent like three, three, I don't know, 300, 350, what something like that. What kind of stuff? Oh, I got a ton of drugs? ton of wrestling stuff. Uh, I bought. Here's a bolo for you. This is letting the cat out of the bag, but um, they had wrestling cards. Kevin I doesn't still... usually let the cat out of the bag, so str- <laughs> until the job is <laughs> <No> done. <air. laughs> yeah, yeah. But it was a de- there was like a cla- you know the classic cards carry. Well, classic yeah. did WWF for a few yeah, years, yeah. but then next to these two sets of classic cards, which go for like fifty, hundred dollars, was a deck of cards. Just a regular deck of cards. I didn't know this existed. And it was wrestling cards. And it was, you know, 52 cards in a deck, obviously, plus the Joker. So 56. Yeah. I think Jimmy Hart was the Joker. And that I had that thing listed for 295 and I have five watchers. That's $295 for a deck era, of cards. Was it from, like, the 80s? Oh, late 80s, yeah. Yeah. yeah it would, I think what it is is that is considered the um, Ultimate Warriors rookie card in that deck of cards. Oh. Ah, yeah. Okay. yeah, and I so had. I could grade these things because there are like if you have all four of the Hogan cards, Hogan's the ace, and one person had them and they sold all four of them. They all got grades of ten for five hundred dollars. But two tell of my this, Hogan this is, cards are a little off. This is going to make you a little bit jealous, maybe. So you know my video, like my, my wrestling pack videos, went viral in a couple different places on TikTok and also on mm. Facebook. Like it has hundreds of thousands of views on Facebook, and one mm-hmm. of the people tagged somebody and they were verified so i clicked on the person to see who it was because it's a verified person oh i'm jealous it's, already it's the girl it's nick hogan's girlfriend so hulk's oh, okay. son and uh-huh. then she tagged hulk hogan's wife so there's oh. a small chance i as a hulkamaniac well, he'll probably invite yeah. me to dinner or something <laughs> like Florida, i'm hoping yeah seriously <laughs> that's down by rod we gotta go yeah down. yeah, yeah gotta go i just, hang i want to work hogan. on it we'll see if you know kevin enough. nash kevin nash lives right down in daytona Dude, you remember Diesel? Kevin Nash, yeah. Big sexy, right? Big sexy, that's right. Yeah. I got a Kevin Nash well, uh, calendar at that sale. I'm ah, sure you do. Yeah. Okay. Oh wait, I think cool. here. Wait, I got a couple other things. Hold on. Okay, he's got a couple. He's, other he's, things, he's in wrestling mode. Uh oh, nerdery. <laughs> Look, there's there's my wrestling sale. See, wrestling is in the zeitgeist right now because WrestleMania just WrestleMania. happened, Kev. So my WrestleMania VHS set sold, Kev. How much do you think I got? Nice, for that? dude. Look at that. That's pretty dope, wrestle- man. Sealed. No, it was used. Used WrestleMania used VHS WrestleMania set. What's your guess set. on that? I'm going to get the whole set. The whole set. I'm going to guess 100. Mm. You had it at 125. 100, 100, 100. Oh, at 125? What'd you get? 120. Yep. Okay. So and Carrie, it. Carrie. <laughs> Carrie left it behind. Yeah, baby. It's always yeah. so much that more satisfying when Carrie walks away from it. And I pointed it to hey. him. He was in an emo mode. I was like, Carrie, you might like this. And he was like, nah, it's $25. I don't want it. No VHS is worth that much. And Rod and Kevin are idiots because they did that VHS video. Yeah. And I was like, okay, yeah. I trust hey, them. I, I trust Rod and Kevin. I went on I a rant. <laughs> he was I talking about how much he hates you, Kevin. For. Yeah. And so what? I listened to you. Oh, well, yeah. he was just what? talking about how you're a liar about VHS in your video. You talk Who about was? You, you and Rod in your VHS live video where you say Disney's worth millions. See, like, no, we don't. I feel, I, look, when I talk, when I talk real VHS mean stuff about Kevin to you, there. Dave, you're not supposed to tell him I said it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You're supposed to be All a right. secret. So since you think I have an army of folks working for me, so the, here's how it works. So the, the girls are handling the whatnot and now dibbed it as well. So... What, what, what I did is I brought I bring this to, I go to yard sales and I bring it in and then, and then we go through it really quick and I divide up like this is mine this is eBay and this is yours right and so they're comping stuff out but I got to go behind them sometimes I'm like you telling me this this has no value on eBay they're like nope no comps I'm like this no, is crazy definitely... I said look up Southern Wrestling yeah, magazine mid eighties stuff NWA 
And you might not find this magazine, but you'll find some. And there's like three comps that are like 50 bucks a piece. I'm like, this is Ric Flair. I'm like, this has Woo! a lot of value right there. Woo! And, and I've got three of these guys right here. And none of them has Dino Bravo. None of them are listed on eBay, but they will be. That's cool. And check this out. This is Roddy Kevin Roddy. Alive. Also not on Roddy, Roddy Piper. Ra also not Rowdy, 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 Rowdy Piper. They're perfect. Rowdy Roddy Piper, yeah. Dude, you don't find this stuff. And I, found, I have a whole dude. tote of cards. I mean, this is insane. Dude, I paid 60 dope. bucks for just piles of wrestling stuff. Oh, my God. You guys who are gosh. listening, those are fully nude Hulk Hogan calendars from the 80s. <laughs> <laughs> we have to blur out. Tag, fully tag nude. Nick Hogan's wife in that. So, okay, so there's Kevin's yes. find at stealing segments from other podcasts. What's your find of the week as we steal segments from other podcasts, Carrie? I like to just trigger. Also, them. I'm gonna list some of those on. I don't dip, know about dip, a find. So I, I was gonna do a sale. Wait, wait, let me sale? rephrase that. No, no, rephrase it. What's Dawn's find of the week mm. for the arbitrages? <laughs> I'm trying to think what she got. That was really good. I, I, gosh, I don't know because she just buys it and then sells it before I even know, and it's usually shipped before I wake up. And then so Carrie spends really the money on popcorn <laughs> at the movie theater. I don't know. What is <laughs> no, we did sell today. Like there's a funk, you know, like the Five Nights at Freddy's. Right, fine, do sale of the week. That's fine. Well, that's what I'm what I'm gonna do. All right, okay. All right, okay. There's a robot from Five Nights at Freddy's called yeah. like Candy Bonnet. Uh, yep. She sold that for fifty bucks today. But I will say, sandwiched in between two of my card sales, one of which was like six dollars and fifty cents. Mm. So, Kevin, we like sold the uh, we sold the lefty plush I bought from your shed. By the way, what did you charge did me you? for that? Forty bucks. Oh, bucks? you. It's a hundred dollar one. But did I paid you, you less bucks? than that. I paid you less than that. I paid you no. like forty or fifty. Oh, yeah, yeah, totally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. and I did it because you oh, said I gave it to Elijah. you wanted it. I did. I had it, and then Elijah and then loved it, so I gave it, it to so... him for Christmas. I gave it to him for Christmas. Uh, you and suck, then by the he, way. Well, hold on. He sold it. I did not sell it. It was his. All he right. sold it, and he got the money for it. He listed it for 50. And... What? He listed it for 50 and because he really wanted money. That's my my son. Like He hyper -fo He's like, oh, I want this thing now. It's and $100. It it's super cheap. Well, that's what I thought too, and so I went. And it had, it's not a hundred dollar plush anymore. First of all, okay. it's gone down value because the movie but I went and I was. Looked, yeah, yeah. I yeah. went and I looked, and I comped it out. And when he wasn't looking, I pushed it up to ninety. <laughs> okay. And he's like, "I'm surprised it hasn't sold yet because I put it really cheap." <laughs> yeah, and it's like three weeks later, and it sold. I never mentioned that I upped the price. I'm like, "Yeah, it's weird." You should have then, just handed him fifty. And then... well, it sold for an offer of I think eighty or ninety. Okay. Yeah, I think that eighty bucks. Right. So not you that when the movie to teach him a lesson. I did. Well, I told him. I said, "I said, here's eighty dollars. Waiting three weeks got you thirty extra dollars." He's like, "Yeah, but I don't need the money anymore." I'm like, "Well, I'm sure you'll find a use for it, son." Oh, <laughs> he's such he's such your son. He ah, really I'd rather take the money now. I don't care. So I put it in a priority box. FNAF it doesn't plush. matter. Fifty dollars. Well, no, listen. I think that like if we want to set ourselves apart, we all need to talk about a hundred dollar sale from the last week. Mm. A hundred dollar plus. Like everyone, that, Rod was telling me he thinks that every serious reseller, seller, sh reseller, reseller should try to have at least one one hundred dollar sale a week as a goal. Oh what my gosh, I disagree. You I disagree. think you need to shoot high. I, I think, think you, you just need to, need to sell. You could sell ten things a day at a hundred dollars, and it's the same difference. What does it matter? Well, yeah, that's work, just true. if you're only getting one point. sale, then point. yeah. I think the only thing that really matters is the bottom line in the end. Rod right? was just bragging too, because he's like, "I sold five thousand six hundred dollars this week on eBay," and I'm like, "Well, you're just better than me, Rod." Well, you Rod have had. Oh, you no, no, I sold. I sold things, a calculator. You know? I, I found it. Two, two no. three bucks. I, I I sold it for fifty six dollars. So you can. Rod's run. just excited. What did you sell? Know how good calculator. I am at this. I sold a what calculator. What brand? Texas Instruments. Ti eighty. Yeah. Ti yeah. eighty four C E plus or whatever. It's an obvious one. It was the teal variation. I actually was surprised. <laughs> it took me like three weeks to sell, but I got. It took well, that's like Uncle. Business. Steve. You know right? how Uncle Steve Don only did list it. sales on eBay, right? Yeah, he does. Yeah, he's like selling like crazy. Plus, right yeah. yeah, he talks about it. this. Uh, he like he'll call me up. And he's like, ah, it's just a Kevin sale. I'm like, but I'm selling a lot. I listed. I listed like three, four hundred items in the last three or four days. So I'm listing wow. a ton. Are they mostly two dollar baseball cards? Sure. Right. Whatever. I sold some Alki okay. Alpine ski bindings for one hundred fifty two ninety five. I sold. Let's see if I can find any other hundred dollar sales here Carrie, this weekend. Like, I should look at this weekend. If you so a serious question, it's not trying to like uh, downgrade your sales or anything, but like, what? One. How much money per week would you say you sell in cards? And what percentage could, of your eBay sales you. is that? Like, I could tell do you, you sell hundreds, thousands, thousands, 
thousands of dollars a, mo- a week yeah, or a sure. month? Probably. Let me look. Okay. Yeah, yeah it'd just be an though. interesting thing to break down, kind of look at, especially compared it's to like It's not going to matter. It's not going to matter. He's not going to stop. So what no, does it matter? No, no, I wasn't saying he should stop. I was just curious. I thought it's it was like kind of an interesting. Topic. Nor should he stop. No, I'm just, no, I'm no. trying to it's defend it here. It's about passion. Topic. Yeah, it's well, this is also topic. not. I also sell. I probably sold two thousand dollars worth of cards on whatnot this month. Mm, Plus, okay. the last twenty-eight days, I've sold fourteen hundred dollars in cards. All right, so thirty-four hundred okay. in cards, guys. Cards, the things you just ignore at sales. Carrie finds a way to get thirty-four hundred bucks a month, out and of he month. only paid forty-four. That's pretty. Maybe impressive. not quite because I don't know. Yeah, no, I probably made about. 17 18 maybe maybe 2000 plus all the affiliate money i'm making for my card channel well what do you think like so <laughs> what's your average dollars. profit what's your average profit margin on cards like nine nine oh. times your money two times your money mm, depends it depends nine, they're all over the place i'd say the average margin. is like not profit margin but like well, cuz it's different yeah. cuz some cards like, like if i buy cards in lots uh, sometimes i'll lose money on an individual card but i'll 10 times yeah, money on another card maybe. on whatnot mm-hmm. on whatnot on ebay a card could be like i could sell a card for three bucks that I have a penny in because I yeah. bought it in a lot. Mm-hmm. So That's the like margins are all over the place. I'd say like five eggs. to five times. <sighs> okay. I sold a fish trolling something that trolling you put water. on the end of a boat, hundred bucks. No, no, it was, water? no, no, it was all you put on the end. Of, you actually troll for the fish. It's like a fish, oh, okay. whatever. Anyway, hundred bucks. How much? Dude, boat parts bucks. are hot right now. My, my what about boat part? Sale. It's a fishing part you put on a boat, but, but whatever. I'm good with boat. that. It's a, you put it on a boat. It's part of a boat setup. I mean, what? what I'm trying to find my hundred dollar sales for the week. You said a hundred dollars. Two for that? so far, but I know I sold some this weekend. So hundred bucks. Yeah, I paid five for it. That was cool. All right, here we go. Oh no, I gotta go over here. Uh, I'm trying. I'm trying to outdo whatever this mystery podcast is. It's kind of <laughs> hard. <laughs> Theirs are like eighteen dollars. So Carrie beat them. You beat them. We're All good. Right. <laughs> but I know I've got more. This this weekend's been nuts. Actually, like that mystery podcast does now have like weekend. a real serious good reseller, and you like is selling like a lot of stuff for a lot of profit, and they make fun of him for it all the time. Alpine they're, stars, their minds, their minds are blown by some of the stuff, and we're like, yeah, yeah. that happens, man. You Alpine guys stars for two hundred bucks, <laughs> motorcycle <laughs> jacket, hundred dollars plus shipping. All right. Harley Davidson jacket, hundred dollars plus shipping, hundred and nine dollars oh. plus shipping. Um, now we've given Kevin license to just talk about. Yeah, I'm serious. <laughs> right, wait, wait. I saw his favorite this thing. Is a good one. I just sold a good one. Golf okay, Titleist go golf bag. Okay, I'm going to do it too. Plus then. shipping. Vintage Titleist. Vintage Vintage Titleist no, golf bag. How much money? Hundred dollars plus shipping. Dave. Do you have anything $100. better than a hundred? That's pathetic. I just gave you the ski bindings for hundred and fifty. Give me your no, your two hundred dollars. I don't have a two hundred. We're only talking two hundred plus. Give me your two dollars sales. That's I don't have two hundred dollars. My highest sale this week was one hundred and fifty-five dollars. So let's get to the guy with the two hundred dollars sales. Okay, setting this up for me. (laughs) I sold a CB radio. It doesn't matter. One hundred and eighty dollars. Land of milk and honey. Actually, you got that in Georgia. It counts. I got that in Georgia. I sold a boat Bluetooth adapter for two hundred twenty. Wow. Okay, that that I got. Florida fine doesn't count. What? How does it not count? Because it's, it's Florida. Florida. <laughs> Land of milk and honey. It's like Raleigh. Doesn't count. Yeah, I got that like nineteen seventy seven football card <laughs> set that's worth probably two hundred. I I just don't want to sit down and count yeah. the cards. Is that yet, the one you so got I'm in Georgia? <laughs> No, I, oh yeah, I got that in Georgia. So Kerry right. bought a big card set in Georgia that was worth a lot of money. You paid a lot. I still haven't it was counted missing the card one yet. card, wasn't it? You no, was there was a different like a one rookie? missing one. No, that was okay. the 1988 set. That's not as valuable. Did this you one carry had that two card, cards though? that were damaged. I needed to buy undamaged cards for the set, and I just have. That's what I have to do for my two wrestling sets. Not the I counted the one for the deck of cards, but there's supposed to be 150, and they're not. Or I gotta I gotta figure out if they're all there. Let's really. Yeah, buy it, I need whatever. to. I keep convincing myself not to do it. I'm like, well, I could <laughs> just do these two dollar cards instead of taking a half an hour and seeing if I have a two hundred dollar set sitting there. It's just. Yeah. Oh, okay. So... I like I like I like trinket stuff. This is what I dig. Well, so I'm gonna do it. I just that I did with the WrestleMania set. I was missing one VHS, Kev, and I had to pay five bucks for it on eBay. So I paid twenty for the set, bought the five dollar VHS, sold the set for one twenty. So completing the set. But wait, I have one more sale over two hundred. I sold a uh, car diagnostic reader. You know, you plug it in and it tells you the codes. But it was for a uh, diesel mechanic, and it mm-hmm. sold for three hundred plus shipping. Wow, jeez. Well, you've been you listening do, like man. crazy. And well, I listen, you should probably, you should probably quit your job and do this. Here's the deal. Dave. 
And this is. And I sold the Bills hat for one thirty-five. Okay, I'm done. Dude, that you, Carrie you missed that? out on. That Carrie missed. <laughs> shut your mouth. Shut That's your almost three hundred dollars of things no, no. Carrie missed. Yeah, you shut your mouth. <laughs> so I'm go. I go to the sale on Friday, and I'm sitting there, and I'm walking up to it, and it's weird. It's like in this weird Baja old Blast? building. Mm-hmm. Uh, I almost That's got one today. I had adult beverages, beverages instead of Baja so, Blast. Mm. I I spread my calories out. So okay, I go to this sale. It's Friday, and it's a nice day, a little windy. And I see one guy standing in front of a door in this warehouse because this sale was like in a warehouse. I'm like, this is weird. And I go up there. I'm like, are you waiting for this sale? He's like, yeah. The guy's not even here yet. I waited for 45 minutes. It was it was like 30 minutes past the time period. But I, I recognized the guy and I talked to him and he's a video game guy. I'm like, you saw those video games in the picture. Is that what you want? He said, yeah. I was like, you got, I said, go for it. I said, I won't even, I said, just tell me when you're done and I'll buy them. Nobody else showed up. It was me and him hmm. in this line. So yeah. we get free over this whole place i could not believe it wow and it was insane how much i bought snap-on tools snap-on diagnostic stuff so here's the thing no no there's there's two of you in the line my wife here's the question there's two of you in the line what what's your play do you try to outrun them to the stuff or do you (laughs) or do you like go for the knees do you like try to injure them so that you can get to the stuff no he's a nice guy he was well, first in line he was there he i was there half an hour early he was there first, before me. last so you were last we literally waited for an hour and some other guy pulls up right before the thing's gonna open and he he like starts talking to us and stands in front of that guy i'm like dude this this ain't gonna happen and we waited and waited and waited and he finally just left I'm like, I'm glad he left because there's no way I was going to let that guy get in here in front of us. It's ridiculous. Yeah. Who does that? Was it would you have him? fought the guy? Would no. you have physically fought him for the spot? No, but I, both of us would have said, dude. You, I want Honest Tim to have an alter ego. Dishonest Tim. Honest like, Tim. April 19th. Honest Tim t-shirts. Up. What not? Dis, dishonest Mitt. You just spell the name backwards, right? Like, <laughs> okay, so. Mm. Oh, crap, I like I just, it. You had a brain fart. I did. Hey, well, then while you're having a brain fart, let me just say that I've got my April 19th show has tons of pre bids on it and whatnot. And now now he's killing it with an ad, Dave. Look what you did. No, Dibbed It has has pre bids now, y'all, for the first time. All right, Yeah, I thought that's cool. No, I wanted to tell you about this (laughs) estate sale. I want to say that during the, the Florida Highway sale, there was this estate sale. And Rod had abandoned us. He gave up. But me and Mike were still trying. And there is the law of diminishing returns at these things, right? Where you're finding one thing like the last two hours, my best find was a Magnolite 12-inch skillet, which sells for like 100, right? That was like my best find for two Which is a good find. Yeah, for some. That's better than anything I find in a month out here. So, (laughs) Have you ever found a Magnolite pan? That was my first time seeing one at a yard sale. Yeah. I've I've seen seen like a Magnolite flashlight. Was it the roaster or just a pan? 12-inch deep skillet with a lid. It's nice. Uh, I might keep it, to be honest with you, because it's really cool. But the roast we go to this good. estate sale after, and this thing is so cool. Like, just the aesthetic of it means I might use the footage, but it was infuriating nonetheless. And Mike told you some of this story. Kevin, Kerry hasn't heard it really. But you go in, like, the floor. Kerry, you would have hated this place. The floors are, like, rotting out at any moment. There's yeah. probably asbestos in the air. Yeah. There's just rat yeah. crap everywhere. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's right. right? Yeah. Everywhere. Yeah. And like yeah. I said, I went up to this, pa- this pot, and I was like, what is this? And I open it, and when I open it, dust flies into my face and yeah. mouth could have been dead people ashes i don't know could have been perfume or some like you know like powder maybe or or human i don't know i felt yeah. stronger after inhaling it though which i think is you <laughs> it know felt like I, it felt like i had felt like i got their energy strength. yeah so we're walking around this place and we me and mike go in this room there's already people in this room pulling stuff out and buying stuff and uh once they go out i go back to where they were and mike goes to the closet and in the closet there's like a full marlboro jumpsuit like mint condition some vintage clothes a bunch a bunch of clothes apparently there's a whole line of clothes called kevin's plantation it's literally like i'm not even kidding there's a whole line of clothes we saw it all over these sales it's some sort of like hunting gear which with kevin's giant mansion i don't know but we go into this room and mike's getting all this stuff and I find a Mahjong set, Carrie. You know Mahjong's a bow. I bought right? Mahjong this week. No. A Bakelite? No. Okay, what was it made out of? 
I'm not sure yet, but it was super freaking old, so I wasn't gonna yeah. pass it up. I'll so do the research later. So like, <laughs> we opened a drawer. There was so much rat crap in it, Carrie. You would have oh. faint. I think Carrie would have fainted. It was like <laughs> it was horrifying. Right into the rat crap. It was horrifying. <laughs> That's <laughs> how it gets me crap. every time. And I I'm just like, go face first I, in there. I shut the drawer. I'm like, Mike, come on over here. Come on over here. Open that drawer. Your viewers are gonna like it. <laughs> and he's like, oh. But there's this bakelite or not bakelite uh, mahjong set, right? Sitting on top of the dresser. No, like. There's, they literally said when you walked up, everything's for sale. Backyard, in the house, front yard, all that stuff. And so I find Except this Mahjong this. set. It's cow bone and bamboo, right? Vintage. People are selling, like, just two pieces for 15 bucks what? on eBay. Right? Wow. Just two pieces. And there's, like, 40, 50 pieces in there. So it's a, a pretty killer find that I have. And I take that. And then I find this box of ephemera, with which, like, literally had... Was it Pony Express or no Western Union from like oh, 1898 wow. letters? That brings and stuff. some memories back, Kev. Yeah, the like, lot of stuff was redone. Are you sure it's that old? Well, I had a. It doesn't matter. Stamp. You didn't get. When did they do right, three cent stamps? Oh yeah, long time ago. Yeah, so that I put in my pile. So I'm I'm finding this crazy stuff. Mike finds all these great clothes. We walk out, and the lady gets ticked off at us. Don't even tell me you've got my ma- my aunt's mahjong set there. I'm like, <laughs> what do you mean? She's like, that you hear really funny if you think you're buying that. That was off limits. I'm like why like what do you mean it was off limits she's like anything on top of that dresser was off limits i was like those people just bought a bunch of stuff off the top of that dresser. no they didn't i'm like yeah they did and and you said everything was for sale she's like well not that she like takes it away she takes away the the box letters no those are my grandma's letters you're not having those oh i can't wait till the heck all Steve mike's gets clothes. a hold of this footage. she takes all mike's clothes she's like you're, you're not those are my son-in-laws you're not buying any of those clothes go put them back those were all blocked and off limits we're like they're not blocked she's like yeah there was towels and sheets over them we're like no there wasn't there was nothing somebody else took them off oh where'd my camera go Somebody back. else took them off. Can you still hear me? No, there I am. Yeah, okay. Unfortunately. Yeah, so she was just like, never heard of folk man. What's, what's crazy? Oh <laughs> but what's crazy? Kevin, Kevin just discovered this last week. She's walking back into the house with our stuff, and I hear the other lady there, who's like her granddaughter or daughter. She's like, "You can't bring that back in. You gotta sell." She's like, "No, I'm not selling any of this." So she's like uh, emotionally attached and like hoarding it. And we didn't get any of the stuff. And at that point, all the rest of the crap yeah, it in my feels hand, like, I was you, like I'm not. You might anything. not have been at an estate sale. You might have just interrupted like mid episode of hoarders. If there was and then crash someone. And oh, it was like that. It was like. Yeah. And then like someone house. right after their sale, that sale, someone drank urine. I don't know who. <laughs> yeah. <it's> a... <laughs> Do you have this footage, though, is the key. You There's have this footage, have, right? Well, should I Just use it? I didn't buy right anything. To heck you oh, of course you should yeah, use should that use footage. Yeah, oh, so depressing. She, I got so emo at oh, the end, though. Yes, and I didn't totally. buy anything. I was like, I'm just not going to buy anything. Can't you imagine people like either yelling at you, saying, yeah. "Dude, it's her stuff. It's her prerogative. No reason. Well, look, no need to be rude." What happens when I don't? I hate sales like that. You like know? you got to remember what happens when I'm not emo at a yard sale cuz like we were at that estate sale and you hand that sweet lady all that stuff. All that stuff you were basically stealing from her and she wanted to give it to you for free. And yeah. you <laughs> begged her to take 5 bucks. I yeah. bring a small sampling of of garbage. This is so funny. <laughs> different estate sale. Different estate sale. Different estate yeah. sale from yeah. a different day. So like mm-hmm. I try and then they gouge me. <laughs> yeah right? i love it it's the same thing i did with uh i was with it was dave were you with me no i, I was with rich, rod and I mike think is what it is i look rich i was with rod and mike and rod picks up these three plush and it's like how much three dollars a piece and i pick oh dave you did this with me too one time and i pick up a plush and he's like a dollar <laughs> <laughs> we did that dave at the 301 where mm-hmm. you went and asked for a cabbage patch kid and it was stupid oh, money was like and i got it for a buck you, you remind buck. same guy yeah you remind you remind like the 70 year old ladies of howdy duty in their childhood so they're uh, like, oh, no, they got like they, some they're people slappy like from goosebumps he reminds me of slappy yeah, he from does look like kinda. slappy from goosebumps you're right <laughs> he does <laughs> That's Comment why I'm down always below a if you bit... agree. Comment yeah, down below. Yeah, that's why I'm always I don't I I'm always a little off kilter when I'm around him because I think something's gonna happen. What is Slappy picking and punching? Uh, he was like a murderer. He's yeah, like a possessed doll. Yeah. Picking and punching did comment on the Patreon. Other than He's going googling picking, googling Slappy right now. Other than Be going careful. picking, <laughs> is he googling? You don't know who Slappy is? It's a bolo if you find an old Slappy doll. Uh, other than going picking with Death Pile Picker, what's the most embarrassing thing you've ever done at a garage sale? Who asked that? Rod. Rod asked that. Who did not have anything to do with peeing incidents, nor did Death Pile Picker this weekend. Mm-hmm. Uh, on the record, off mm-hmm. the record is a different story. Yeah, it seems, Carrie, yeah. embarrassing mm-hmm. thing, go. Gosh, you got to give me a second to think. I have a worse memory Golly. than anybody here. Um, 
Well, you think about I will it. Tell you Kevin, about Kevin's, Kevin's is easy. Talk to himself like a psychopath. Uh, Can I tell you like a weird thing? Can I got I a funny story a about weird, that. Can yeah. I give you just like a weird yard sale story yeah. that didn't? Necess- I was there for. Okay. So we were we were selling stuff in front of uh, Don's dad's yard. Be back in the day, we had a bunch of stuff for sale, and we had like a head, like a I think it was like a, a, a mannequin head. It might have been a glass one or something. And there was a neighbor dude who just kept walking by, looking at it all weird. And then he he just eventually like got up the guts and asked how much for the head. And then he just only bought it and walked off. And we all like felt really off because we just felt like it was weird. <laughs> like he was going to use was. it for something. Yes. And... Yeah, it was really weird, man. I'm not Jeez. like we all had the same vibe. Like we shouldn't have done that. You know what I mean? Um, but yeah, I don't my, know for me, once. it's like for me, it's like saying something I think is funny. But then I realized it sounded really weird. Oh, like, I do that all the that time. happens to me a lot. Like I'll say something that's like a joke, and I'm like, "Oh, that sounded creepy." Like, <laughs> like a creepy thing to say or a weird thing to say. And it's, ever, just, it's just, it's just. I ever say those that. jokes and just think maybe you are creepy, and that's just who you but are. But no, like it wasn't even the intention, like how it could be perceived. But then you said it. You you think back and you're like, "Oh, that sounded bad. That was not what I meant by that." Yeah, yeah, pretty much that. That's one thing I don't have anxiety about. I don't really think back about the things I said in the past and feel bad about them. But usually. I have verbal diarrhea. Well, that's because you instantly apologize every time yes, you say anything. I cover my. Oh well, yeah, C- you cover your butt. C Y A. <laughs> I just have verbal diarrhea. It's just coming out. I don't no filter, so it's, I mess up a lot. What, Kevin? What did they I say had, about you talking? What happened, Kevin? Well, no, I was gonna say something else. I thought something else that was actually more embarrassing. Kevin has two things I did to say. have. I, I have three, but I've already forgot two. So we'll just stick with this one. <laughs> so <laughs> I remember this one, Grandpa. Gee, so oh Hello, no, lady. Kids. I was talking. I was talking to the camera, obviously, and the lady was really close to me. She said, "Did you say something?" I was like, "No, I'm just talking to myself." She said, "Do you do that often?" <laughs> it's like, well, yeah, I kind of do. But I said something at a yard sale. I didn't buy anything, so this will never air. But I wouldn't air anyways. And it was an an. It's a woman in there selling stuff, and she was. She looked like she was my age, and she was spouting off all this stuff about anime. And I'm like, you are way too old to know what this is. And I'm like, did I just say that? Oh, <laughs> like, man. Did I just say that? You said a thought out uh, loud. Exactly. Oh, no. I'm like, holy crap. I'm like, I've got to get out of this yard Actually, sale. <laughs> I caught it on camera. The more embarrassing thing was when I accidentally shot some random shopper in the butt with a Nerf gun. I wish I had gotten better footage of it. But yeah, I was like, I picked up this Nerf gun and I'm messing with it. And I press the trigger and it has a bullet in it. It shoots her right in the butt. And she's like, ah! And I kind of got it in the in the footage, but I the video tanked. But it was you should do it on moment. purpose next time. It was time. embarrassing, yeah. Just do it with like I somebody should. you know, like Don. Like, Don's like uh, over there trying to steal your stuff. Get one yeah. of the automated Nerf guns. <laughs> just just yeah. get just Don. Let's go to town. All right, so Carrie's done nothing <laughs> embarrassing ever. No, I'm trying to think like at a yard, yard sale that I've done. I've done pretty much every yard sale. Has I've your been butt at. cheeks like ever been exposed via like crack? You know. You know crack oh yeah, oh, like, yeah. Bent oh, over yeah. and your butt's hanging out. Rod has I've had, that. I've had like in my, my fly down year. more times than I'd care to remember. The fly down. Oh, Rod. Yeah. Rod was mooning people. Rod had a little bit of crack. It crack. Wow, crack. No, crack. Crack. Kills, crackage. Rod. Crackage. Crack kills. So, so you guys, you guys know that Dawn makes sure I'm dressed every day, correct? Mm. Yeah, she pulls well up known. your pants when you. She doesn't. Over and I was about, we're, we're getting she's... ready after I did my morning the video I did to motivate uh, yeah. Big's collectible, mm-hmm. who yeah. who I intended to motivate from the very beginning. Yeah. I love um, how he said he did that in the morning. That was 7 p.m. Eastern. I mean, <laughs> okay, <laughs> morning. <laughs> like I was in my <laughs> chair <laughs> listing. That's so carry it had morning. To be late. Though. Carry morning. <laughs> Um, and, uh, my fly was down today and Don's like, your fly's down. You know, I'm like, I'm like, don't worry about it. I'll remember. And then we talked and then we were, I was about to walk out and she reminded me a second time. Cause I did. She's like, remember. Carrie, your wiener is literally out. <laughs> Shit. Oh boy. You know, if the fly's down, it's, it's well, you, hey, you're never it's wearing underwear. Out. So it makes yeah. sense. You know, Carrie, all my uh, friends, my coworkers are in Vegas right now. This would be my week to be there. Yeah, dude. Like the last two years you've been here this week, yep. haven't you? My this wife, week, I got somebody sent me a picture. Somebody sent me a picture of mm-hmm. of me and you and Carrie and Dawn and Tina mm-hmm. and my wife, you know, when we had that event. One and ago, just yeah. somebody says, like, hey, this is a year ago. Wow, man. Time well, flies when the next you're old. Trash cash event, guys. Mm. Yeah, but never. Man, are you thinking about it already? <laughs> no, I thought you'd give it up. We're punishing the viewers for not buying more tickets. We're never doing one again. We're yeah, like little children. We're, we're taking our ball. We we're didn't going provide home. enough value. Dude, we, we are value. value. Yeah. Our presence is value. But you're right. We're not promising the them to meet them by the dumpster like other shows might be. Yeah. <sighs> 
You have to have a ticket to go to their creepy after party too. No offense. That's not creepy. I, Big's I added collectible. that. Big's Collectible said playing. over on Patreon, how in the world can we get Carrie to do a live card show on Dibdit? That's what Big's Collectible wants <laughs> Big's to know. Yes, so I'll do it. Big. I'll do it. It's going to happen. I'm going to sell cards. I've got a just a tub full of wrestling cards. I'm so excited. I don't know why all of our videos are like cutting out tonight. It's really weird. It keeps going black screen on us. It just went on Carrie. Did you see that? No. Did it? Oh, maybe it's mm -hmm. only on my end. Weird. Maybe it's Biggs also dude. said, what triggered each one of you to make your first picking video? Mm. Poverty. Poverty. So Kevin did it for the money, not for the love. Necessity. Not for the love of the game. Necessity what about you, is Carrie? another intervention. I, I had just, I had my shop at that time, so like four, four and a half years ago. And I just kept watching all the Gary Vee stuff, like, you got to do it if you want to do it. And I had wanted to do it for a long time. And I even did it for a little bit back in the day and, and canceled and deleted the channel. Um, so, yeah, I just started. And if it you, blew up on, on TikTok first. So my YouTube sucked for a long time. Still kind of does. If, if you, <laughs> if, <we're being> honest. <laughs> if you want an honest answer from me, it, it, poverty is part of it. It was it was. I, I just wanted to have an outlet that gave me some hope that I didn't have to work at. I, I don't want to trash the school I worked at. There's good people. It's just the system just was just so brutal. And there's no advancement for doing a great job. And I felt like I was doing it. So I was like, I just wanted some hope, even if it wasn't going to pay off. Sometimes just that hope helps you get through the day you got to get through. And so that's where I picked up the camera and made my first video that Carrie loved so much. It was so it good. It was great. It was like <laughs> three in the morning. You could barely, barely spoke. You were like very diminutive compared but to the your first second video was markedly better. That was the weird yeah, thing. It's yeah, like you were yourself yeah. by video it's too. Still bad. But the first it, video yeah. was creepy. Well, it was, you know why I did it is because I prom I do things that I promise myself I'm going to do. And so I promised myself by this date, you know, two months from now, I'm going to make my first video and I knew nothing about it. And so that was that date and I had no choice. No, but that's like, cool I'm though. I mean, in it. all honesty, it's cool that you, you, you weren't really ready at that moment. Right. But you did it anyway. And you, well, <laughs> Thanks like for you putting were ready. it so nicely. No, but like, yeah, you put your mind to it and. Sometimes it's just getting your like getting that first video yeah. out, mm -hmm. realizing what you want to do, and then you can really push. And it I am obsessive, that. so I yeah. literally that was the first day. And Carrie, you did this too on you got on, you got uh, way TikTok. better you got way I've, better way quick too. So it was over. It was a year and a half every day. I put out a video for a year and a half. Yeah, I did that on TikTok until uh, I think Dave said I should take a break. And then I just was never but the same after that. picking videos was I didn't because say I you saw make, that. That is not true. I did not say uh, you should take a break. I made a video for him. Oh, something and happened that, that broke you were involved him. I made a successful video for him, and then he yeah, stopped me. I remember that. Never, yeah. never recovered. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I'm doing good on my cards. I've been doing like two me, videos a wait, day. Wait, 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 wait. Before Dave answers, okay. the, the, I want to finish with one little caveat. The real – I saw John Cincinnati Picker, and I had been watching his picking videos, but I saw one have real success. And I'm like, dang, maybe I should get a GoPro because I did everything with a camera. I was like, I'm gonna do it, and I went. I went down to sense. Raleigh of all places because it sucks up here. And I remember going out with my uncle, and we're at the first sale, and I'm digging, and he's like, "How long are we gonna be here?" I'm like, "What are you talking about, dude?" I was like, "I better be here till I find what I want to find," because <laughs> I'm used yeah. to Lynchburg for sales. Steve. And he's like, "Come on, dude!" And he's the whole day. He's like. Can we please leave and go to the next sale? I'm like, what are you talking That's about? He was just looking for golf clubs. Yep, exactly. All right, go ahead. Yeah. Mulligans. Why did so you make me, your first video? Because I couldn't find any more to watch. And there was more I just didn't know. Like, I was not in the algorithm really? yet. I wasn't in the algorithm yet. I had found, like, Brandon showed me Cincinnati Picker and you, basically. And mm -hmm. I was like, oh, people do this? That's cool. I've always done picking, and I have a YouTube channel that's dead of yeah. Minecraft. That'd be cool to do that one day. And I watched all like Year and John's latest videos and Lonnie's latest videos, and I was like, like I could do to this. Watch. What was it? I said, <laughs> yeah. I said, if I feel like I need more content mm. because there's not enough, then I should go make some because then people have something else to watch when they finish watching these guys' videos. There's and a lot so of truth to doing that, though. I didn't yeah, do that so much in any for. Niche. Yeah, yeah, I didn't do that so much for American Arbitrage, but for the cards one where I was doing the cheap cards and stuff because I got so tired of seeing like $15,000 buyouts that I could never do. Yeah. And then come to find out there's a lot of demand for it because yeah, people the only want one it, but there's no way. content. Yeah. So that's that's always the best way to do it. Like a YouTube successfully is figure out what you can't find enough of and then go do it. So po this podcast, 
I could not find a podcast that was comedy slash reselling. All I could find was very serious podcasts back then. Yeah. And I said, we need to start a funny reselling podcast or what we think is funny. You know, we all think and when funny. he thought funny, he thought Commonwealth Picker. I was Commonwealth like, we're not going to be able to get the Commonwealth guy, but if we show him what we've got, <laughs> we're going to reel him in and make him yeah, think it was are, him asking are. us, even though we wanted listen, him the whole time. I didn't listen <laughs> to like episode. Man, I didn't listen to like episode six. I didn't even listen because I was pissed. Yeah, that's the truth. Wasn't invited. Yeah, I was like, I found Carrie on TikTok. Why is this jerk? <laughs> you were a little Carrie? bit. Yeah, I was pissed, yeah, and then I listened me. to it, and I was like, this is freaking hilarious. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, it's, uh, yeah so us, that's man. that's how I did it. Now he also said, did you have a knowledge of filming, editing prior, or did you learn on the fly? I had knowledge because of my job and because of my channel. But you guys, I, I think, still learned on don't the fly. have knowledge. Yeah, you. I have on the fly. theater knowledge, but that helps a little bit, but not editing. I he said all edit. three of you produce great content. Thank you, Biggs. Thank I you. Do. My I wife edited it. all of my videos to like episode They were 40. better back then. They were better yeah. back Thank then. Thank you, Dave. Had, Thank you. I miss, I miss the three-minute intro with the flag and the music. And oh, just hey, listen. Weird weird stuff I had a request history. the other day to bring it back. To like, I really I wish like you would bring it back. So I might just find like, it. Like, it would be cool. Because I don't think it would hurt The kids outbreak. are like I think people this would love big. It. They'll be like, I what didn't realize you stopped doing it. Just That's do it like once. <laughs> like as a, just do it once. You don't have to like make it Although a Kevin uh, had some weird innuendo on his video. I think it was like titled Loose Lips or something today. Yeah. yeah. Innuendo? I, I liked my comment on it. It's nothing like Kevin with his fake dyed hair and a 1940s slang right above hey, him. That's listen. a perfect Kevin thumbnail right there. My Stop. news. Stop the presses, Kevin. This is more important than what you're going to say. We have some amazing members to our Patreon that are just, just set him incredible. up to respond. They're incredible, Kevin. Don't even respond they because are. Buffing the Stuff, <laughs> our $25 member, is here yes. in the house. He's new, I believe. But as he's he's here in the house. Stuff. He usually like comes in my stuff? options, but oh, the stuff is Power Rangers. I get Rangers. the buff, but what's yeah, the stuff? The Power Rangers. He loves the Power Rangers. Then you've got Craig McLaughlin. I like the buff with no stuff. Craig McLaughlin, okay. So the thank cards. you, both of you. Thank you. Yeah, thank Biggs you, Biggs Collectible, guys. Alexandria Biggs Pickers, Collectibles. Jake Ryder, CJ Benz Finds, The Flipper Skipper. Yeah, CJ Benz is now the only Pocket Change podcast. Lady the Arbitrage. Flipper Skipper, and I always want to say the captain, too. What is, how's that song go? No Nose Pickers, hey. Brian Sampor Beal. He's no Nose. Just, he's still supporting us. No thank you, Brian. He looks like the guy from the new Fallout team. Harold series. Tornado doesn't talk to us anymore. Don't yeah, he's only been call behind me, us a lot just lately. totally gone ghost. Only on. called me twice this week. Superhero Head Never calls me at all. <laughs> no, seriously. <laughs> I did, he did leave me an Instagram three weeks ago. I didn't respond to until yesterday. This week. Yeah, one was a pocket dial, but you know, still meant something. It hurts my feelings. <laughs> Vintage sports flip, superhero headquarters, Paul's merch.com, ABC <laughs> Matt, it. Race Heck Resell, and Logan Murky. What amazing people. So guys. listen. You can join that good. list, guys, of amazing people that are wealthy as a Kevin. Go to our you, Patreon. We will love now. you more mm -hmm. if you're on that list. We now, will say your name and learn it. Did, let me get this right. I probably should know this by episode 800, but w did everybody else who's in the Patreon, they get their name at the end of this video? Is yeah, that so what we were saying? Yeah, to $5 say their names. Are right. up, yeah. So don't you think we should shout out another podcast that's just started, Susquehanna Picker? Look, right here. Didn't Susquehanna he just start Picker a podcast? A new podcast? What's it Did called? You know, oh, if you would ever get on the Patreon like I am, Dave, Carrie, I'm on the you Patreon would know right this. Now. I can't even, yeah. oh, go I don't to, even know how to get on the Patreon. What's the category you get to shout yourself out? Shameless self-promotion. You're talking about on the Discord. Discord. You're still talking about the exclusive Discord that you get the, access to? Oh, yeah, I love that. Check it out. I love that. I thing. comment over three times Listen, a year. Listen. Yay. I just I'm on there all the time. There. I like I those go people. Comment. They're good people, too. and they're funny people. Anyway, but and the boat, people on there? you get to self-promote yourself, which is the only reason Grams and Pops is over there, because he doesn't really like us. He just wants well, he to self-promote himself over there. Just yeah. saying. And he also steals UPS there. labels for USPS, but that's a different story. Dude, oh my gosh. Listen. Did you see this comment? This is a, allegedly. <laughs> allegedly, there is a... <clears throat> a, a hut that Kevin used to have in his backyard where he would keep his supplies that okay. literally were selling <clears throat> UPS free labels. That's the, okay. So you saw the other comments then. That was a comment. That's crazy. That's not that's the true. first. That, that's Pizza something. Hut? That's old news. It's old news. Not Pizza Hut. Another Dave's thing. thinking, man, they were a literally new idea. Doing that, they were getting they free have supplies labels a Pizza from UPS hut. and then selling them. Is that, that real? Either that, I mean, I'm I'm one who gives people the benefit of the doubt, but I have my suspicions. So either that or Wait, you dig this company up, Kevin. They're still <laughs> buying them. Maybe they're buying. The, I don't know. I'm just I'm trying to give. But yes, that and that's not the first time I've heard Allegedly. that. But maybe you should do. Maybe you should do an expose. Allegedly. You know, 
uh, what would we call it? Uh, we should do an investigative label reporter. gate. Yeah. We should do label a little gate. bit more. We need like we need we need like a hue down mm-hmm. segment, like a six. I can just see the I can Another see the conversation reason. over at the supply place right now. Hey, Bill. We sold. We actually sold labels. What we did? We're so overpriced. Yeah. Do we have any? No. But the UPS shipment came in the other day of free labels. Send them those. <laughs> That's how that went down. <laughs> another <laughs> another reason for getting three inch tape. I love it, American Bubble Boy. Yeah, three inch. Code, Kevin's very common. Code common fit, three familiar inch with that is, size. It's plenty. Plenty. Girthy too, Kev. Yes. Yeah, nice. That's basically what's in Carrie's pants right there. <laughs> <laughs> Width and girth. I like to carry tape with me. Okay, so <laughs> what are the three P's in your podcast? Patrons, 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 y'all need more patrons. That is so true. Do we you are constantly true? sending me links to podcasts that make like hey, 50000 a month. How do we Let's not just make say. We need to be good at reselling. <laughs> how, how do it's we terrible. not make it? So I got a lot of reasons why we don't make it. Listen, <laughs> well, I, tell us. The, the last two pot, we're going like. We're getting views. We're uh, how's the podcast side of it? Yeah, there's the last two videos are both number. Ooh, last, I think three of the, la- the last three videos been one, one, one. Anchor Good stuff. For podcast Till this one. Ever, ever so since this the Keystring one, this episode, gonna be, it's been going this up. This going to be a hard 10. It's going to be a Well, hard no, 10. but we do have pants peeing. We've got <laughs> yeah, accidental there's been, exposing yourself. There, yeah, there's we been have less shopping. than $18 bolos. Yeah, we, you know, we, we actually delivered real bolos on this. Folk the, the downloads Folk are down, Manus. Kevin. So they're just you know Look they out just for moved Fisher from Price toys. I they just, just moved that. from audio to visual. Did That's you all. figure out what Susquehanna Pickers podcast is called? You just we no. should you shout told it us out. it existed. I didn't know. Yeah, it's your it's, job. Well, actually, it doesn't exist. Just the promo for it exists. So okay, Shame whatever that is. Do you really want me to? I find was it? surprised. So I listened. I got to give Mike some credit since we tease Mike. I listened to this podcast. It had Frizzy Finds. Uh, I listened um, to some of that too. Yeah, a little. What bit. is his name? How come I can't remember your name? I'm embarrassing um, myself. Daniel? No. Yep. But anyway, anyway, it, Mike was Mike's good. I think people are scared to put him on their podcast because we rip him and talk so bad about him on here. But he was good on that podcast. Mm-hmm. I was shocked. I think other you know mediocre podcasts should have him on. Mike's one of the funniest, most fun people to be around. Ridiculous reseller rendezvous. (laughs) What's it called? Ridiculous reseller rendezvous. Sounds like a. That's hard to spell. Uh yeah. Yeah, that's that's yeah. Alliterative. It's alliterative. Yeah. Ridiculous reseller rendezvous. Listen, guys, they have three subscribers. Let's see if we can. One of them is me. Four subscribers. We should get them up to five right here with you guys. Guys, go sub. Uh, we well, can't guarantee no, quality, but you're here. So nice you guy. You don't care about quality. Amazing so Tumblr. And it's a huge Easy benefit. Spell. Rendezvous carry. Spell rendezvous without looking at Rendezvous it up. is Yo. French for gathering. It's R E N D U O V. You failed, Kevin. No, R E N D R E N D E V O U S. You're out, fail. Did I? There's a Z in there. There is a Z. There's a Z. That's you what I'm say saying. Z. Like if, if both is, of okay, us, so I got everything but the Z in between the E and the V. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's right. Okay. So well, maybe, maybe I, I, I'm, I'm my expert. If, we can, if I have three degrees, Kevin technically has one, I guess, and then Dave <laughs> Dick, dropped but... out. I <laughs> just messed with you. <laughs> Brad, hey, that's hey, we can't spell it. Yeah, they they kind of got into that topic a little bit in the uh, what's that one called now leftovers podcast. Hey, I got that sticker. Dude, they anyway, have a secret. They have a secret. They're show selling before the show, their Kevin. sticker, by the way, over on dibdit.com. So you oh, can go check it out. Sticker. Yeah. I will give go them buy that. your leftover sticker on dibdit.com. Yeah. But they yeah, were getting into the locker the, you know, room has a secret show before the show. Oh yeah. Yeah, if that you, remember, you can access right? if you're a Skybox member. Like oh, we are. Skybox they members. say some weird stuff in there, so I don't know. I'm not trying to promote it, but maybe oh, go subscribe. Oh, so you got in there because we're a member. Yeah, we're a did member. Did we get the shout out? Oh, they talk about us the whole time. They talk about us all the time yeah. now. <laughs> yeah. It only costs $5 a month. <laughs> yeah, 10 I think it's 10, 10. Oh, crap. Yeah. Well, 333 yeah, a piece. Yeah, well, listen, fun. since they're shouting out people, so if you are a member here of ours, so Inked Picker is selling her sticker over there. Resell to Ride is selling their sticker over there. And Dude, get else. stickers. Go get them, guys. Because you can ship them for 50 You can ship them up for a stamp over on District. You can't Go do that on eBay. Go get the stickers off Dibdit.com. And you can use a coupon. So get all the stickers in your cart and then use 
the ADH Dave coupon to save five bucks. Or, then you basically yeah. get the stickers or for like use a buck the, a piece. The, or you could use the ADH no. Dave one to save five bucks if you want. Yeah, what did I say? <laughs> this is ridiculous. Hey, I have That's an ad, did with. I tell you? So carrie has got two ad deals going, which is awesome. And Dave always has some ad deals, but I haven't had too many ad deals lately, but I got I got two going this week, so I'm, I'm excited. Well, I, I do love that the ad deal, the Vendue deal, I, you know, she was asking for some more people, right? And so I sent her Kevin, Carrie's information. I sent her a few other people's information, too. She Everyone she talks to, she calls me NC Picker. Everyone. <laughs> and I go to a yard sale this weekend. The lady's like, I get recognized three times as NC Picker during the 100 miles. <laughs> hey, it's NC us. Picker. It's NC Picker. Like, basically, I've it's destroyed veterinary my tornado. Yeah, oh, that's true. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. Can we not Pickler say Brian Biggins? My wife name? went picking with me. She's gonna be on a video. She was she had dropped Reagan off, so it was later in the day, so it wasn't that great. But we found some good stuff, and she met some folks. They recognized her. They're like, "Oh, Blue Ridge Mom." She was excited. Uh, okay, oh. so superhero headquarters just renewed my wealthy as a Kevin tier membership. It's so exciting. Look at this. I love. Can that. I petition to rename yes. this? I tier. noticed on most all used clothing shirt listings for all three of you that you do not include actual measurements or pictures with yardsticks to show sizes. Are you happy yeah. with the results of sales and the time it saves by not having measurements? Uh, and being lackluster at your jobs, or do you have an issue <laughs> with customers and higher returns? Thank you, Morgan. Mm -hmm. I first off, any pictures that Don has done, she puts the measurements in the pictures for the. So the old ones I didn't do. I don't think it matters that much. You get occasional return. Who cares? All right. So this is a good question, actually, because I've actually <laughs> you're going to take it serious, okay? I well, yeah, because I didn't ever used to put them in, and I'd have an occasional return. But I think you're right. You know, you got to give and take time versus money, right? Exactly. But I've That's just now said, all right, look, we, we're going to put every every clothing item. I'm going to put the – I'm not putting them in the description. I'm going to put the – and we did. Basically, it was like cheaper ones we didn't, more expensive ones we did. And people would constantly send the message, hey, what's the measurements or whatever. And so now I'm just like, screw it. It ain't that much time. So my new listings, most of them have it in. Almost all of them. And I try it. not to list clothes at all. I tried this yeah. week to list something, and then like eight viewers messaged Dave, me. Said, Dave, buy them take it down. Give they them said, to me. They said, Dave, take it down. Take it down. It's against eBay policy. You're going to get banned. So I had to take down the one piece of clothing. I what was it? A FedEx jacket. I thought you told me to buy FedEx jackets, but I think it was Domino's that you told me to buy. <laughs> Um, we I didn't tell you together. we were at a but sale we bought together, it together. Yeah, and I thought for some reason I thought that was a FedEx. It looks very similar, and so I bought it and listed. Apparently, you can't sell them because people will like uh, pretend they're part yeah, of FedEx yeah, yeah. and home mm -hmm. and things. They'll get so. on planes and stuff. So, Kevin, turn off your camera for a minute because we got to talk about the V word again, and it's not the one you think. It's Vendu. <laughs> Carrie, someone says we need to talk why Carrie switched to Vendu and what is your take. So, my take is Carrie switched to Vendu because he actually realized it is legitimately better than LP, but mm. Kevin's kind of tied to them financially, so yeah. he can't admit that. Carrie, is that about right? It's about right. No. I mean, honestly, <laughs> no. No, 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 you turned <laughs> no, the camera off. No. <laughs> No, there. I mean, first off, I have an ad deal, which so I actually have like a payment, which is nice. Um, and then honestly, like the app is huge because I, I started pretty much all of my reselling. Terry's always on the like, toilet. It's hard to use a laptop. I'm always. On the that is true. You ask me every time you call, are you on the toilet? And what do I say? Yes, I uh, am. Yeah. Exactly. That's where so I'm. So basically, at. if you don't use an app, go sign up. Use my link, Cocon. Yeah. If you want like a it. way worse web interface, go use List Perfectly. It's yeah, the inter good. web interface is good too. I like it. And then. Also, the honestly, 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 the auto sales detection without being too shilly is really cool. I like it. And I had something. I had somebody like something on Mercari, um, and then I went. I'm like, oh crap, that didn't get taken off. And I clicked on it and said, items gone. So, the, and that was the first time I realized, oh, they're actually gonna take the stuff off right away, and they did. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Uh, it's, I like that because but I've yeah, made so many mistakes cool not taking cool the too. stuff off myself. So, Kevin, what's your okay? Kevin, <sighs> give us your your pitch to list perfectly and your go code. for it. Go in five seconds. Bonanza.com. Oh, he doesn't listen, want to push. push. See, he just. Listen. listen when's your Vendu ad going to come, come out? When's your Vendu ad going to come out? When's the Vendu? He's playing coy for the Vendu. Is if you, if you list on an app, if you list on your phone, you are going to be far better off. With Vendu. Yeah. yeah, that's true. That's true. But there is a new thing. We, we 
behoove it to say. No, that's not right. Uh, we, behoved we would, it. I think it's yeah, behoved it. It behooves us to say. It behooves us to say. It behoved it. Mercari has added Beethoven. a new feature. The Mercari third. Has a new feature oh, of mass uploading your eBay listings via CSV. I did not know that. It's. I just saw a thing for it the other day. I've heard, well, first of all, it won't auto delist. Like, List Perfectly does that too now. Don't they do auto delist? Yeah. Sort of, well, kind of? yes. You have yeah. to have your. It needs to be on, and if it's not on, you turn it on, and then you hit the little thing, and it tells you which one. Oh, so it's not like on. super auto. I get you. Well, anyways, so obviously, if you do that, that's not going to happen, and it's it's not going to, you know, whatever. But supposedly, what, what? I'd like to know the people's feedback. If you don't want to use a cross list, you try the Mercari fix, auto though. upload. I'd be curious to see how it works. If you have any but, comments, if you but try even it down below, I mean, I'm sure it'll work, but. You really need to, to. It's probably a mess. You it probably, no, it's not that it's a mess. Like it's just that it's a one-time deal, right? Right. And then yeah. so you know you list. I mean, you talk about listing stuff. I mean, we listed a ton of stuff today. Yeah, and how which, do you by the way, my sales list. are awesome. This week. That's a good point. So, let's say you do that. You do all your 500 <laughs> listings, and then over the next month, you do another hundred listings, and you go upload again. Is it going to yeah. upload? 600 and half of them are going to be double like there you go but yeah I, i'd like some feedback on how that actually works see i want to know how bonanza thing. does this because that's the key right you just hook something up like bonanza yeah, literally no i list something on ebay and it listed on bonanza no work, if no it sales. sells yes. on bonanza it yeah comes bonanza down. is like yeah, i sold four of, things on bonanza this month i four. still have sold nothing and I've bonanza been is like silently one of the most well, technically sa savvy yeah, reselling yeah. sites ever like just the way that it gets all the information over there it's kind of wild I don't even know how they do it. They're geniuses. Hmm. They are. I'm gonna look <sighs> Listen, you, you do whatever is best for you. What I will say, though, like, and Tim talks about this all the time on the Reseller Information Network, I really, I have trouble understanding, if you're a full-time reseller, why you wouldn't be cross-listing. Oh, Whether I don't. You, I, I just, like, but it's just free money. No, it, okay. it It's not free money. you got to pay for the service. Well, even though even I'm saying forget about like using your cross listing service, like literally listing oh, on multiple platforms. Oh, you said if you're a full time reseller. If you're a full time yeah. reseller, you should be listing on multiple platforms. Even if you're not using a cross listing <laughs> service, like you should. What be if you're doing auto parts? Exposure. Only auto parts. Well, obviously there's little tiny corner cases, Kevin. But actually, auto parts probably sell on Mercari too. I don't know. I would imagine. Probably. I sold those. Uh, I sell a lot of golf clubs over there. Side side view mirrors on Mercari. For like yeah. I think that that's more and more. I, I'm wondering though if someday some some kind of it's like it's like uh, hotels.com, right? If there's some kind of clearing house at some yeah. point for this stuff, I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe it's just the 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 relisting. You know, I, well, I'll say this about Dibdit because Leroy. Has, has been using that feature that you literally take a picture of the item and it basically completes your listing for you. Did you know that? What's that? How do you use that? I don't know how to do it either, but Leroy's been doing it. On, it's on District? On, on, no, on District, on uh, One Stop Shop. Okay. What's on Dibdit 2? Well, I imagine if it's, well, on yeah. Yeah. it's on District, yeah. yeah. And so they auto-populate just from the picture and then if you have to make any adjustments, you can. But titles and the whole thing, I think it's, it's man, I'll tell you no, what. No, I totally get world if you're part-time, if you're part-time not cross-listing. It's just more work, more stuff yeah, to track. Yeah, like, yeah. But if you're relying on it to like I think, feed mm -hmm. your house, like, I think why I can, not get max exposure? The one yeah. thing I can say is it's safely probably the time <laughs> to stop doing like ads in the newspaper about buying and selling. You might want to move to the internet. <laughs> the phone book. Go to the phone book. <laughs> I, I did like a mediocre attempt at promoted listings this week where I promoted ah, everything Dave, 3%. A... It made no difference at all. My sales didn't increase even a smidge with 3%. I want to try So are you selling a bunch? I mean, you said you've been listing like crazy. Your sales have got to be good, no? Uh, my sales are fine. They're fine. They're about average. They're not like I went and looked at the list. I haven't been getting like a bunch of promoted sales that are like above normal. I turned it back off today. I turned it back so, off today, and I'm just Carrie, doing my discount like I normally since do. Since Carrie loves my thumbnails, and, and apparently both <laughs> yeah, of you didn't so, like the loose so lips. They are clean, yeah, and they're you know straight to the point and weird. The loose lips, but Very I've got one coming thumbnails. out. You'll see this by the time this podcast comes out, but I did a uh, conspiracy podcast. theory one because Carrie loves to rip the conspiracy theorist YouTube resellers, you know. Yes. And so I did the, you know, I did the, the pyramid eye put <laughs> the I put eye. eBay I put eBay's <laughs> logo instead of the eye in there. I think Carrie liked this one. And neither one of you freaked out when I had the politics of reselling and the Democrat and the it. Republican one. I like Dave's well, probably I, sweating I, I over knew. there. 
Yeah, I knew. I knew you were too much of a wimp to actually go in. Yeah, I knew you weren't gonna actually. I actually, I'm taking a risk. My thumbnail tomorrow is just my face and Kevin's face, and at the top it says, "Kevin's lying about tax day. Use this link instead." No, that's not what. So on the 15th, Kevin's tax day thumbnail, which I'm sure is what it is. No, mine's just gonna say you're lying. Mm -mm. I I purposely waited, just like I purposely waited for the Mercari thing. I wanted all the reaction to come in so I could rip on dave for doing so his you could steal the information and repurpose reaction video well i wanted to you know that's part of it right you want to get that was just different my takes. my guess that the video kevin drops on mine the is coming out and chill for reseller mine yeah it did but it's not on the 15th oh no, what day is it no no, no. i knew I you made it, it. I, I knew it you after made the it. fact but it wasn't a shill for them. I mean, it is at the very end, of course. I had to mention them. But it there was a solid 15 It was a serious talk. I, I, get, I get into, and this isn't going to come out for like a week, but I get into like, you know, actual stuff that people always say I'm not an accountant for. And I'm like, listen, if you're not doing this, you're an idiot. And I went into all the different tax deductions and all the different stuff. So that sounds anyway, so and I also yeah, paid my sounds... taxes and that made any me rate, do are this Are we drunk video. yet? Any Gosh. rate, any rate any rate i'm gonna mark that down as one of your videos among many that i will not watch dude that's a good video you should like it you would learn a, a couple video. things you know it's funny Carrie, you yeah, all sure people I will. will learn a few I, things. I, I, I randomly mentioned i randomly mentioned one admit it reseller to genie because i was talking about how I paid a, a crap ton in taxes <laughs> the other day kev just mm. big old, we need to talk about that we gotta compare the numbers. taxes yeah uh, but no so i paid all this money in taxes and i, I bet was i pay a smaller percentage than you I don't even know what I paid percentage wise. They could be scamming me. I wouldn't even know. Don't tell. I them. paid off my solar day. Nice, good. Wow. That's, that's no fun. Uh, so, anyways, uh, I talked about it for just a minute, and I said, you know, "That's why it's good to have something like my reseller genie link down below." And you know what? They showed up in my auction that night. Those reseller genie folks. I haven't yeah. Seen them in a while, but they showed up. They're like, "I was like, hey, look who's in here! I must have gotten some click through on that video today." And they're like, "You did." I'm like, yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> Did you get any <laughs> any any conversions? So. I have no idea, but uh, I don't even know how to check mm. that, Kevin. I'm not very good at shilling like you are. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah, You've been shilling like, Vendu all episode long. That's because that Vendu is great, and people should listen, Kevin. Yeah. You're good at shilling when you get paid for shilling. Quality and entertainment, and I oh. care about the viewer more than the money. Yeah. and that's the difference between you and I. You were. Oh, that's what you said to me. Get that's out what you said. Here. You did say that to me. You said that's you care bull. more about the money we than the viewer. That's, that's what you told true. me, and I agree. That's what. Yeah. you said. I'm not the one with channel memberships. Just saying. Well, I barely yeah, have many more since everyone's canceled theirs. <laughs> Guys, yeah, please bro. come back. Please come, come back. back baby. Hello, Don. Lady Arbitrage. This may be a bit confusing at first. I, carry am communicating with you telepathically. I hear you working in the other room, shipping, listing via Vindu. <laughs> um, thank you, because... I'm probably not going to do it. There are rumblings that you are the real American arbitrage, the brain and the brawn behind it all. And secretly between me and you, that is true. But let's not discount the fact that I somehow stumbled upon telepathy. T telepathy? I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but I'm doing it. I want you to remember this. It's very important. Yesterday is history. Tomorrow is a mystery. Today is a gift. That's why they call it today. Nice, right? Keep going. We need it. You're doing great. Good job. Haley, Haley Tornado, we got to talk for a moment about Josh, Harry Tornado. I think he's going through a little bit of a midlife crisis, but he's too young to be doing that. I'm 40. Dave's basically 40. He's got almost as much gray hair as me at this point. And Kevin is some sort of necromancer in between 60 and 300 with just the most beautiful dyed hair imaginable. We all should be going through midlife crisis, but Harry Tornado shouldn't be. You guys got a golf channel now. You're renovating houses. I even saw a really disturbing video on stories where he was putting like some sort of like jam on a chicken biscuit from Chick-fil-A. That's really scary to me and I'm worried. So Haley, it's time to use your uh, degree in like microbiology or something. It was something really, really smart that I don't understand or any of us understand for that matter. Um, use that, you know, get him on the right track because you guys are a great team. You guys got to keep pushing it, keep growing. You guys can do it. Um, you guys are setting the setting the bar for all of us, uh, you know, scrubs down here. So keep at it. 
We appreciate you all. And thanks for like paying for this for like what? I mean, you've been the one that's been paying for this basically for like a year. Thank you. And Josh, fix it. Bigs hey, Collectibles. Directly out of the shower. No time to towel up because I need to motivate you. So reselling. Am I right? Yeah. Work on it. You know what I mean? Somebody once told me this. You're only as strong. You're only as good as the drinks you mix, the tables you dance on, and the friends you party with. And man, let's party, dude. Do we really want a list anymore on eBay? Don't they have enough? Doesn't eBay have enough? Enough stuff? We can figure it out, man. If we don't sell enough on eBay, we can get a part-time gig door dashing. We can get a part-time gig at Taco Bell. If they'll have me back. I was in the assistant manager program for like six months. I didn't pan out for obvious reasons. Um, just lack of vision. I didn't understand their corporate structure. I didn't know exactly the fiscals. The fiscals I was a little bit confused about. Um, but that's a possibility. But just remember this. You can do it. And whatever you're doing on eBay, double it, double it, and then just give it to the next person. In a world filled with endless possibilities, dozens, hundreds, millions of options, there's really only one, only one option that makes sense. Who's merch? Paul's merch. Paulsmerch.com? For millennia, he has been spoken of, whispered, Paul's merch. And now, he's here. With over 87 items for sale, the options are truly endless. Are you looking for good vibes? Good vibes only? $49.99, steal. Are you looking for a gift for Kevin the Commonwealth Picker? Well, this 31-day monthly pill and vitamin organizer with large removable pods, free ship is available. $11.99, free shipping. Paulsmerch.com is the present, the future, our future, everyone's future. Pulsemerch.com. Toaster oven, vacuum cleaner parts, remote controls. Do you wanna make a living selling the most boring stuff you can possibly imagine? J-Ride Flips. You're doing great, dude. Honestly, you're doing great. You're selling all the stuff that's valuable in the thrift store. You're doing awesome, man. Your content's great. I don't know how I can exactly motivate you. You put out more content than pretty much anybody I know. Um, you're, you're putting out TikToks a couple a day. You're putting out consistent um, um, different YouTube videos. You were doing a rips uh, channel where you're ripping cards. Haven't seen that lately. Get back on it, my friend. Get back on it. Seriously, dude, Keep up what you're doing. You can do it. If you want to improve your voiceovers, I'm more than happy to do them for you. <laughs> um, you're doing great. Just keep it up, J-Ride. Jake Ryder. By the way, Jake Ryder, it sounds like a, like a hidden character in Mortal Kombat, like one that didn't quite make the cut because they had all the cool ones and then it was just Jake Ryder and you didn't make the cut. For some reason, it screams like 90s kind of like bad boy with an attitude maybe lean into that see i feel like the name jake Ryder comes out of like a video game or maybe a movie but not like a like a top tier one it's not like fast and the furious uh more like road rash you're probably a little too young for road rash but that's the one where you're going around on motorcycles and you're just like hitting each other with fists and chains and stuff it's a pretty fun game I, i'd recommend it definitely but you've paid us for some reason um to motivate you um I got, I got some motivation for you. Let Sonny talk. Let him talk in the podcast, dude. Uh, if I wanted to watch a Jake Ryder live, which I do, I would watch your Jake Ryder lives, man. J Ride flips. You got to let Sonny talk. But let's really motivate you here, dude. Let's really motivate you. You need to dial in on copying my content a little bit more to the to the T on TikTok. You're going off. You're being too. You're being too like artistic with it. Just literally copy it. You could use my voiceover. I'll voice over your stuff for you. Just copy it to the T and you'll get moderate success. Then that's that's awesome, right? That's something we all want. Anyway, dude, you're doing great. You're selling vacuum hoses. You're selling bits and pieces. You're selling like golf club where the things that go, where do you hold the golf club? Uh, the, the holder, the, the grips, you're selling those, I'm assuming. You're selling like tops of lids. 
you're selling like different parts of mechanical items. You're selling like TV remotes because apparently those are still a thing. Just do it. Um, and much like Big's collectibles, double your output, double what you're doing and then give it to the next person.